I worship a Jehovah. I worship a I worship I worship the all-consuming fire I worship the one who's clothed with fire I worship the all-consuming fire I worship the one who's clothed with fire. He who sit on the throne, Kadosh. Who will rise on the horse, Kadosh? I worship the lion and the lamb. I worship the queen. I worship Shiryoku For you will not suffer my foot to be moved I carry your presence everywhere Who am I that your mind is so full of My foot to be moved. I carry your signature everywhere. Who am I that your mind is so full of me? Mortal awesome God. Hey, you will not suffer my foot to be moved. I carry your hollow mind everywhere. Who am I that your mind is so full of me? Hey! What a man! Awesome God! In a man and in a, you will not suffer my food to be moved. I carry your signature everywhere. Who am I that your mind is so full of me? What a man! Awesome God, hey, you will not suffer my speech to be moved. I carry your signature everywhere I go. Who am I that your mind is so full? Mother, you are the mother. I come in the blood of Jesus. I come with the blood of Jesus. I engage by the blood of Jesus. I engage by the blood of Jesus. I come in the blood of Jesus. I come in the blood of Jesus. I engage by the blood of Jesus. I engage by the blood of Jesus. I come in the blood of Jesus. I come in the blood of Jesus. I engage by the blood of Jesus. I engage by the blood of Jesus. I come in the name 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 of Jesus. I engage by the blood of Jesus. I engage by the blood of Jesus. You will not suffer my foot to be moved. I carry your aroma. Everywhere I go, who am I that your mind is so full of me? What's up? What's up? You will not 
suffer my feet to be moved. I carry your aroma everywhere. You are mine, your mind is so full of thirst. I'm just a mortal man. You're the awesome God. Hey, you will not suffer my strength to be moved. I carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? That your mind is so full of Amen. You're the awesome God. Mortime. You're the awesome God. Mortime. You're the awesome God. I'm just a mortime. You are the awesome God. I'm just a mortime. You are the awesome God. I'm just the mortal man. You are the awesome God. I'm just the mortal man. It's an atmosphere of Jesus. Atmosphere of Jesus. Atmosphere of Jesus. I am the atmosphere of Jesus. Atmosphere of Jesus. Atmosphere of Jesus. Here's an atmosphere. I am an atmosphere of Jesus. <laughs> atmosphere. If you believe that about yourself, come and sing. Atmosphere of Jesus. When nothing is impossible, no disease in calm. Here's an atmosphere. Here's an atmosphere. When nothing is impossible, no disease in calm. Here's an atmosphere. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly, exceedingly abundantly above all, all, not some, all that we can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. One of the basic spiritual skills every Christian must learn is not the thickness of tongues. It's not how to sing. It's not how to do anything. But one of the most basic spiritual skills that every Christian must learn is how to take God's word at face value. Your ability to know that God can do what he says he will do. Your ability to look at the scriptures and when the Lord says I will do a new thing you are not analyzing with Greek and Hebrews. You are not trying to know if there is another meaning. Your ability to know and say I know that God can do it because he is not just going to do it. He can do it exceedingly. A man of God said something certain in one of the programs. He said, you see, when it comes to Jesus, when it comes to God, you cannot ask too much. There is no too much in God. Come and tell your neighbor, said, there is no too much in God. The currency called faith, when you have that currency called faith, you are not within a budget. 
you are not within a budget. Faith does not keep you within a budget. Faith does not give you uh, uh, rules and regulations on what to spend or what not to spend. You are not buying. You are not. You are not buying as it has, uh, as you can pay. You are buying as it has been paid for. And the blood of Jesus is limitless. The blood of Jesus is limitless. So once you want the currency called faith, you can purchase whatever you want to purchase and you can take God's word at face value. I would explain the scriptures to say, according to the power that worketh in us. That's not, that's not just, you know, and the power working in us is not equal. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm going to explain the scripture with the scripture. Second Kings chapter 14, quickly at uh, chapter 13, second Kings 13 from verse 14. Now Elisha was fallen sick of his sickness wherewith he would die. That means Elijah was going to die and the sickness that was going to give him had come upon him, Elisha. And Joash, the king of Israel, came down unto him and wept over his face and said, Oh, my father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen, thereof, the same word Elisha used for, the, used for Elijah. He repeated it to him. And then what happened? And Elisha said unto him, I'm sorry, I like instances. This is what would drive us. Sorry. He said, and Elisha said unto him, he said, take bow and arrow. Take it, take it, take it. Anything, bow and arrow. And he took unto him bow and arrows. Continue. And he said to the king of Israel, put thine hand upon the bow. The bow. And he held the bow and he put his hand upon it. That is, Elisha put his hand upon the bow that the king was holding. And Elisha put his hand upon it and he said, open the windows eastward. And Ramana Kashata. And he opened it. Follow quite carefully. Then Elisha said, shoot, shoot, shoot. So he began to shoot and he shot and he said, the hour of the Lord's deliverance. So when he shoots, when Elijah will shout, this is the hour of the Lord's deliverance. He will shoot again. Shoot, come on. The hour of the Lord's deliverance. Shoot again. And what happened? And he said, take the arrows, okay? Take the arrows. Take the arrows and go back, go back to, to 18. And he said, take the arrows. And he took them. So this time Elisha removed his hand. And what happened? He said, take the remaining arrows. And he took it. And he said unto the king of Israel, smite unto the ground. And he smote. And he smote twice. And stayed. Elisha told the king. Ah, I want you to follow carefully. Elisha told the king. He said, I am putting my hand on yours. Pick up the arrow. And shoot. And he shot twice. He shot three times. And the man of God was angry with him. And he said, Thou shouldest have, sh have smitten five or six times. Thou art smitten severe. That is, you have, you have, you have I would have got a, a, a simpler translation. Smitten severe till thou hast consumed it. Whereas now thou shalt smite severe but twice. Do you understand what just happened now? This king was given a a lifetime opportunity and he was asked to shoot 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 and when he shot three times he released his hand and the man was angry hey how can i tell you to shoot and you shot three times and stopped how can i tell you to shoot and you shot three times and shot and stopped because somehow he did like peter whom god say walk and he began to walk but when he got to the middle of the sea he began to analyze and he began to sink he was shooting, he was shooting and somehow whatever came to his mind that made him stop, he stopped and Elisha looked at him and said, you have missed it, you have missed it. I said, shoot, you're shooting three times. Sometimes the things that makes us stop, the things that we would have used to collect from God is our doubt because somehow we believe that we are asking too much. Somehow, am I not shooting too much? This is a free ticket to shoot. He would have kept shooting until the Elisha said stop. And he stopped by himself. Dear, who asked you to stop praying? Who asked you to stop tonguing? Who asked you to stop praying right now? Can you open your mouth and shoot? The army of the lost believers shoot. Don't stop until you are asked to stop. Don't stop until you are asked to stop. Don't stop until you are asked to stop. Because God can do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think all we can ask or think all we can ask or think according to the power that's what in you according to the power that's what in you come and begin to make requests begin to make requests 
The hand of the Lord is upon you. The hand of the Lord is upon you. Shoot. Shoot and don't stop. Are you king footing? Release. Don't get tired. I'm so glad you found me worthy. Oh, yes, Thank you. Jesus. See how far you brought me. Yes, I'm so glad you found me worthy. Spirit of the living God, we ask that your spirit will brood upon our hearts. We ask that light will shine in our areas of darkness. Let's see Bahashka does have in the Bahasa Lehashka. Lord, enlarge the coast of our hearts. Enlarge the coast of our hearts. That will not let our past experiences become the detectors of how much we should. Help us believe you. Believe you even more than we could ask or think. Today, let us live here with understanding of our spiritual advantage. Reveal yourself mightily, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Can you celebrate Jesus? Celebrate Jesus as you take your seats. Welcome your neighbor to the encounter. Say you're welcome to the encounter. Oh, glory be to Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. I'm so glad to see you guys around. And please help me, let me let me tell and everyone outside to come in. Even if you are working either a protocol or whatever your office is, just come in. <laughs> because what I want to share now will determine so much in your life. Please, if you're outside, come inside and be seated. And if you're on your duty post, even on the media, you're not doing anything very, very striking this period. Just come and sit down. Thank you, Lord. Celebrate Jesus one more time. Um, some of our brethren from different campuses make it today because of the break. But we also know that we have those who travel down who are at different locations. We are really glad to have you around. We are glad to have you around. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know whether to make this announcement now or uh, later. Because I was really wondering at the things I, I'm trusting God to expose us to today. I really trust God that everyone will be partakers of this. So when I noticed that some of our brethren, our different campuses could not come, I was like, God, we need to really create other measures to keep them connected, even outside, outside this town. And then it's good that I also let you know now that um, that limitation, the Lord is helping us address that soon. Um, sometime this month, the Lord gave a marching order an instruction, very specific instruction, that it is time for this ministry to spread beyond Kaba. Yes. It's time to spread beyond Kaba. Um, and um, specifically, the instruction um, was that um, we begin with Lukoja. So, uh, Sophia Foundation. Sophia Foundation Ministries Lokoja is beginning immediately. Let's celebrate Jesus for that. 
so uh, that will also ent entails holding the encounter also at Lokoja. So be having the encounter here in Kaba, also the encounter at Lokoja. Celebrate Jesus for that. Um, we have all, we have started making certain arrangements on that. The Lord has also given us a venue over there already, and um, we are also working with a, a group of people over there. Um, I'm also I'm making this as an announcement for those who are, are living at Lokoja or you know anyone at Lokoja that is enjoying and drinking from this well. Let them know that Sophia Foundation Ministries is already coming to Lokoja, and if I want them to join our team of workforce and volunteers. The flyers will be out soon. Uh, we have the flyers ready already. It's already set. We release the flyers soon uh, with the details so that if you want to be part of the workforce and the um, or, um, volunteers, you try to use link up with our brethren over there through those contacts. We will start with workforce trainings and other meetings. Then the encounter will begin fully. All that means is that. Um, this ministry is spread into Lokoja, and what it doesn't mean is uh, we are not parking from Kaba, right? Uh, so we are not leaving Kaba. We are not saying Sophia Foundation is leaving Kaba. We are saying that this, what you are enjoying here, is also going to be replicated at Lokoja. And um, we are also trusting God that it's not going to clash with what we do here. It's just be an extension. Is that a good news to celebrate Jesus for? Celebrate Jesus. Or do you want us to leave Kaba? Do you want us to leave Kaba? Okay, so, so it's, it's an extension of that, and we are also spreading beyond that, but that is what we can tell you for now. And um, also, in addition to that, we are, this year we are spreading in different, at different levels and in different phases. Um, aside the Soviet Foundation, I want us to know that Soviet Foundation Ministries is a family that also um, uh, has all the ministries that are under and, and learning from us and serving. Um, for instance, we have Apostle, Apostle Peter Abioye here, who is um, he also, the Lord also gave him a work and is spreading to Adoikiti. They, they had the first meeting last two months. Okay, yes, at Bethel Experience. So if you're also at Adoikiti, we are also having another expression of the as Sunrise Embassy with our brother Abosu Abiyo. So we, as time goes on, we keep making an announcement of different expressions coming out of this of this stream, and you'll be the, you'll be seeing the move of God spreading around. Like I used to say that uh, Soviet Foundation is not is not a is not a Kaba ministry. <laughs> right? Yes, we are only having here as our location spreading to the world just as a river that came from Eden broke into different heads and went even to the land of Havila that is how the water flowing from this place will flow around the world and you are going to be part of those that the Lord will be using at different locations in the name of Jesus thank you father Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 blessed be the God and father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Hmm. I'm about teaching something that will change your life forever. I was almost, almost running down to this place to teach you this thing. I was almost running down to teach you these things. This will change your life forever. And I'm teaching on spiritual advantage. Spiritual advantage. You know, there are revelations that are very cardinal to our lives as Christians. There are other bodies of knowledge, although important, but not that relevant to our life, especially on earth. Follow me carefully. They, I said they are important. There are doctrines, although important. There are revelations, although important. But when it comes to our effectiveness on earth, they are not that relevant, but important. You're going to understand what I mean by that. Several years ago, I remember having a, a, a teaching with some brethren back then. In uh, I think I was I think I was seven then, and I was teaching on eschatology on the study of the end time and we're going into several levels of teaching such as 
the the how many years Jesus when Jesus comes how how long he will be in the cloud and uh, how when we when people when after rapture how long they'll be in the in the cloud then then he's talking about the second coming of Jesus then how long Jesus will be on earth when he comes and how many years he will spend before eternal reign and all of that then also moving into Israel ex exclus exclusivism that is talking about the how that the, the nation of Israel is exclusive from the calendar of the eschatological calendar of the Gentiles that what God has in plan or in the in store for the Israelites according to the understanding of eschatology is different from that of the Gentiles and the argument started rising that if we are Israel's of God then why should there be a different plan agenda of God for the nation of Israel if Paul said that there's no more Jews nor Greek so what then is why how valid is Israel exclusivism in eschatology? You know, all of these things were creating a lot of rancors, and people were confused. And like, ah, what are we saying? In, and you know, I saw confusions in their faces, and I told them, relax. Even though you don't even know how many years Jesus will spend in the cloud, you don't even know how many years you spend on earth. The most important thing is that give your life to Jesus. I hear what I'm saying now. So when you give your life to Jesus, when rapture takes place, you will go. So if it's seven years, you will stay there if for seven years. They won't say because you don't know it. They will chase you down. I get what I'm saying now. So although the knowledge is important, but it's not relevant. There are knowledge bodies of knowledge that are relevant. These are, you know, Paul warned against these unnecessary arguments. People just argue over things that, although they are doctrinally making sense, but they are not the relevant things. For instance, for instance, if, the, the, if you go into angelology, for instance, there are different names of angels. They are Im important knowledge to have. Different names of angels. But you see, as important as it is, the most relevant revelation is to know the ministry of the angels. Whether you know the names or not, the one that is needed to be attached to you, be attached to you. Are you following this point now? So if you go to demonology, you may not need to bother yourself about the names of all the demons. The most important is that you know how to cast out demons. So as we grow in faith, we must be careful not to just gather some left, some knowledge that are not so if it's not too important. They just make us very intelligent. They make us deep. They make us high, sounding high. But when it comes to the to the field of play in the work of faith, they are not very relevant. So therefore. If your job on earth is to be effective here on earth, then you must insist on differentiating the knowledge that are most relevant to you in your effectiveness on earth and the ones, although important, but not so relevant. You understand where I am? So today we are going to discuss on not just important knowledge or bodies of knowledge but relevant bodies of knowledge that are very effective for your life and your godliness are you going to, you going to this point now if you have to say praise god first second peter chapter one verse three the Bible speaking according as his divine power had given unto us all things someone say all things all things that pertain all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue although he has given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness but that is received through the knowledge just the same way that we are blessed by the grace of god but the grace of god can only be maximized through faith I will know this point now. So, there, if, uh, although you are blessed, although you have all things that pertains to life and godliness, so someone begins to say that if truly I am, I have, I have, God has blessed me. If truly He has given me all things that pertain unto life and godliness, why then is my life not reflecting what the Bible says that I have been given? One, the clause that is missing there is through the knowledge of Him. Through the knowledge of him so the 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 level 
or the extent to which you enjoy the things that the Lord has ordained and also assigned for you on, on, on in this kingdom, the level to which you can enjoy is dependent on your knowledge of him. So our, our, our listen now, how much we are blessed. I wish you, I pray you are going to get this. How much of a blessing of God you enjoy is not solely dependent on how much of blessings of God that he has given you. Hmm. So uh, you may have been blessed by God, but there is no expressions of the blessings of God on, in your life because you don't know the fetcher with which you can fetch the blessing from the well. And it is true the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and to virtue. The Lord shall supply our needs according to his riches in glory. All things, all of those things are there for our benefiting, for our profiting, but they must be through the knowledge of him that has called us. Ephesians 6, verse 12 to 13. You know, I used to tell you that the encounter is also Bible study. <laughs> it's also Bible study. If you can't study Bible, I'm telling you, it, you, are, you, are, you are in a big mess here. Yeah. Now, I, I'm going to read this both in Amplified and in King James. Ephesians 6, verse 12 to 13. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness. Hmm, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Now, this is it. That we are, we are contending, we wrestle not with flesh and blood. I wish it ends there. If he says that we wrestle not with flesh and blood, what that would have means is that we don't wrestle at all. But he said, but with principalities and with powers. So there, are, there is a spiritual dimension to the physical dimension. Hmm. My God. So here you are, you are, you are living your life based on the intelligence that are only relevant and valid within physical realm. Not knowing that your wrestling is not against flesh and blood. Let me explain flesh and blood if you don't get this. Jesus told Peter, he said flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. Now listen carefully. They, they know, when you go to school, it is flesh and blood that gets educated. <laughs> because what Jesus said that what Paul just what Peter just said now is that that means if Peter what Peter said was a knowledge was a body of knowledge that he really he said we say what do men say that he where do men what do men say that I the son of man am and he said you are Christ the son of the living God I now say that this thing you just said now that means it's possible to say things from the flesh and blood say but this one that you just said now is not from the flesh and blood but this revelation came from the spirit therefore your flesh and blood can be educated so when you see a professor is a professor of flesh and blood so the the things that he knows are as the result as the result of the education of the flesh and blood and he says unfortunately for those people is that we wrestle not it what against flesh and blood what it means that if your education is only the education of flesh and blood that means you have been cut off from the scheme of things from the angle of the spirit because you will not be able when, what it means that you will be lost when the real wrestling begins because all that you know is of the flesh and blood Are you with me to this point now? So, so is F, F, amplified. Do you have amplified with you? Do you have amplified? Okay, let's move on. Zechariah chapter 1, 18 to 21. Zechariah chapter 1. Zechariah chapter 1, 18 to 21. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Then I lifted up 
thank you jesus then i lifted up my eyes and saw and behold four horns and 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 i said unto the angel that talked with me what is these things and he answered me these are the horns which have scattered judah israel and jerusalem but when you check out judah israel and jerusalem was scattered you will see a political undertone you will see how somebody who said what you shouldn't say you will see how some group of people agitated and protested and when you organ when you are when you analyze this thing politically you will see if all that educates you is your flesh and blood you will discover that what scattered them was a political reason but when he saw from the angle of the spirit he discovered that there were four horns that the scattering was uh, the the, poli the politics that led to the scattering was only an expression of the activities of the four horns <laughs> i will this point now so they now say that the reason why she why he did not get job is because he did not graduate well not knowing that he did not graduate well because they were horns but when you analyze this from the from the intelligence of the flesh and blood there is a valid reason that you can lay hold on and say that the reason why this person is held bound is because he did not graduate well or why the business is not moving is because his systems are not in place why the ministry is not moving is because he doesn't know how to preach but not knowing that all of these physical expressions are reactions to the horns of the spirit so how unfortunate it is for a man who is only educated by the flesh and blood my god are you with me this way now so and the lord showed me four carpenters thank you jesus verse 21 then said i what come this to you and he spake saying these are the horns which have scattered judah so that no man my allah that no man did lift up his head in don't blend zavanda bahashka i decree in the name of jesus that whatever has helped people bound in your family the end has come He said, the, the carpenters are coming. And these carpenters are going to contend with these four horns. But these, but these, verse 22 says, but these, I lifted up my eyes again. Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you. Somebody should help me with it. I think I was somebody to sit with him. I don't have time for this. Thank you, Jesus. Now listen carefully. And the carpenters, the four carpenters that mm. are rising, are rising to contend against those horns for we wrestle not against flesh and blood against principalities that means they are spiritual undertones by faith we understood and we understand that the words were made by the word of god so that the things which are seen are not made by this or were not made by the things which are visible so we look not at the things which appear the things which appear temporal the ones which are not are eternal so therefore if we are walking by faith we must not walk strictly by the visibles it is when we have handled the affairs of things from the spirit that that we start looking at the result from the physical what i mean is this our life does not begin from the physical it begins from the spiritual our life does not operate by the intelligence of the flesh and blood it operates by the intelligence of the spirit if any man that is spiritually illiterate is a dead man to be carnally minded is death is death a body without he said he said just as the body without spirit is dead so faith without works is dead now what it means is this the body without spirit is dead in another way a body that is not spiritually active is dead 
a man who is not spiritually active is dead. A man who is not spiritually active is dead. There is a spiritual factor to physical realities. Balak called upon Balaam and said, lay a course on the children of Israel. Excuse me. Why would he ask him to lay a curse on the children of Israel? If, if all he would have done was to go into war and fight with them, he said, no, I understand that the things that appear are not made of the things that are visible. So therefore, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Before we wrestle against flesh and blood, we would have contended with the unseen before we get to the sin. So if I can defeat the children of Israel from the spirit, I can defeat them in the physical. So therefore, get a, it's a prophet. What I want you to do is this. Begin to release words against them. My God, can I talk about this? Are you with me at this point now? He said, begin to release words, not arrows. Not arrows. He said, the words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. So if I can, so as I'm speaking, you will think that I am trying to teach you how to war. Not knowing that I'm already, war has started because I'm speaking. So, so he said, can you begin to speak? Because I know that the spiritual controls the physical. So if you can weaken them in the spirit, weaken them in the spirit, begin to say bad things against them, begin to release. Now also notice that he called Balaam. Why Balaam? If, if I can get a tongue that is not normal to speak into their lives, then it will weaken their lives. Then we begin to use sword. To kill them so but when you see you want to analyze the warfare you will say that the children of israel were killed by the sword not knowing that first of all there was a sword of the spirit that was a word of Balaam. that's what i'm saying now so before the physical one was effective there was a spiritual sword the bible calls it the sword he said put on the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit the sword of the spirit, which is word. So Balaam speak words to them, release words to them. So the man looks at you and says, You shall not succeed. You shall not succeed. No, forget it. It's not by I know who I am. He don't understand. He don't understand that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. But how do they operate? They operate by the agencies of words. The words that I speak, they are spirit. They are life. They are spirit and they are life. They are spirit and they are life. And you now say, you begin, he said, let no evil words proceed out of your mouth. He said, let your word minister grace. He said, let your word minister grace to the hearer. Minister grace to the hearer. Minister grace to the hearer. What is it about grace? So what is, as he's speaking, grace is being released. Grace is being released. Grace is being released. Then when he found himself in a time of need, the walls that were released by, I mean the grace that were released by walls, begin to solve his problems in times of need. Hmm. I hear what I'm saying now. So, so he said, Paul, will lay, he said, when I come, I will come and lay hands on you and begin to transfer spiritual gifts. Some virtues of spiritual virtues. Spirit, can somebody please? Now, are you between this one now? He said, you minister grace. You minister grace as they speak. As they speak, spirits are released. And what are the names of your spirits? Virtues. Grace. They are being released. Then the guy woke up one day and he noticed that he, he calls it luck. He calls it luck. He was in need. And from nowhere, like they will say, somebody came up with help and offered him help in times of need. Not knowing that, not, they now ask him, how, what, how did it happen? He says, it's by grace. Oh. It's by grace. Oh. But how was that grace released? It's, the grace was released through the speakings of mouth. I said, that you minister grace unto the hearer. So that is why you now see in Acts chapter 10 verse 24. And while Peter was speaking, while he was speaking, the Holy Ghost fell upon them. So that, that means that the same thing that happens by the laying on of hands can happen by the speaking of words. So words are not just communications, but they are vehicles of spiritual virtues. So as I speak now, I know what I'm saying. As I speak now, things are happening. Things are happening. There are impartations of the spirit because the words, the words, 
laws these are these are these are virtues these are realities these are living things in the fourth dimension my god my god i pray you get me now these are living things in the fourth dimension thoughts are living things in the fourth dimension words are living things in the fourth dimension the fourth dimension is a dimension above the third dimension the third dimension is the physical where we can touch we are in the third dimension now but the what happens in the third dimensional world is a product of what has been ordained from the fourth dimensional world am i out of today Second Corinthians 4, verse, verse, verse 18. Like I read, he said, let, let, let's, I want us to see it together. Second Corinthians 4, verse 18. He said, Why we look not at the things which are seen, but the things which are not seen. But the things which are seen are temporal and the one we're going to see eternal. So your, your focus, your gaze must be on the things that are not seen. Last Sunday, I did a powerful teaching. Oh my God, amazing. I've been receiving testimonies on that message from, from different places. Uh, if you have listened to it, let me see how you were around or you have listened to it. So that I will be sure I'm on the same. Are you there? You celebrate Jesus if you listen to it and you are blessed. I've been receiving testimonies of that message. Deep calls on to deep. Hey, hey. See, you see, I am speaking like this. I am speaking like this. Don't be deceived by the English. Because the English is only a vehicle. <laughs> because when you are in tune spiritually what you are going to write will be more than what i am saying why because it's a download it's a download so i was like i was giving an instance last sunday so two people are listening to one preacher somebody is writing he's writing something he said mm, mm. and the person sitting beside him he said what is mm, mm, yeah what is he saying that is mm, there's nothing powerful here now he's not saying normal thing now not knowing that the words that he's speaking is a compendium of a revelation. Ah, I am. I get what I'm saying now. So, so it's a compendium of revelation. Several things are, are, are encapsulated, because this is a problem. The problem is this: if God, if God, for instance, want to speak to us and He has to speak in English to us, our it will take us like one thousand years to achieve our purpose on it, <laughs> because I, I, because if God has to speak English, it's going to take Him a long time. So what is the technology? So this the technology is this. So for instance, you may not even understand the technology. Let me explain something again. For instance, when I say ilato zavad, ilato zavad, ah, five words, ilako zavad, ah, five words. Ah, 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 now this thing, five words, but five words, but this five words. How? He says, see, one day in the flesh is one thousand days in the spirit. So now, when you now do the calculation, you know that's two words already. Now, one e can be one thousand words. Now, if you want to, if you want to translate it, you are going to translate it one thousand words. So you cannot translate it. So he said, now the only way this thing can be understood is by interpretation. Hmm. Interpretation is not translation. Translation is that you say the way it was said, but nobody can say the way it was said. Because when I say that one self, you can't say it. it can take you 60 years to be able to break it down if you want to speak, say it in English. So the only thing is that you have to interpret it, not translate it. Because the speakings in the spirit, they are not something that can be broken down in the flesh. So how then can you receive this? Oh, I've said the word. You can receive it, but you cannot learn it. So when I begin to speak, I begin to speak i begin to speak so now you are hearing me for instance i'm saying i begin to speak i begin to speak i begin to speak an english my wife says that why is he repeating himself i begin to speak i begin to speak why is he repeating himself i'm only hearing one thing i begin to speak but you know the first i begin to speak will not be the same with the second i begin to speak because the first time when i say i begin to speak maybe a normal english but the second one i begin to speak was a prophecy because they are already speaking in somebody's life so this thing cannot be understood by the flesh. So it has to be the deep calling on to deep. So therefore, no man understands the things of a man except the spirit that is in that man. So therefore, I want to discuss with you. I have to discuss from my spirit to your spirit. So, for instance, I begin to sing a song. I begin to sing a song in a dialect. You don't understand the song. You don't understand the song. But your spirit is, your spirit is boiling. Your spirit is boiling. You don't understand. They ask you, do you not understand the language? You don't understand the language. You don't understand the gala. You don't understand all Yoruba. You don't, you know, sometimes there are some, I don't understand 
the words are not, if do I understand anyone in Yoruba? I don't think I understand anyone in Yoruba like that. But, but wait, there are some Yoruba songs when I'm listening to them. Ooh, I'm just moving up. But that day is a blessed day. I am boiling in my spirit. You ask me to, interp- to, to translate that song. I cannot translate it. Because the person who is singing it, he's singing it from his spirit. And my spirit understands what the person is singing. Even though the man does not understand the things of a man, except the spirit that is in the man. So, but if the spirit of a man understands the things of a man, and we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual factors, then the spirit that is in man can help a man benefit from the things he don't understand. You understand what I'm saying? So, he, he does not understand it, but he's blessed. He's blessed. So you see someone who say, okay, come, let's pray for you. And, 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 and he say, you want to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost? And he, does, he, he, he doesn't understand what it means to even receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. You know, one of our brothers was saying some time ago, was sharing a testimony. He said the first time he came to the encounter, he had been hearing Sophia Foundation, Sophia Foundation, you know, who, who, he said, who are these Sophia Foundation people again? Sophia Foundation again. He said, let me let him go and even see what they are doing. And he, something, he, something pushed him to come. <laughs> and he came. He said, why did he, he was just observing what are they doing? What are they doing? He said, when the Holy Ghost fell on him, it, the, worst, first, the next thing he saw himself was he was standing from the ground. <laughs> he, he, was, he was hit by the Holy Ghost. And he, that from that day till now, he's, he has been blasting in the Holy Ghost. What happens? He came to observe. But his spirit has been looking for an atmosphere that can stir him up. But his mind has been filled with something that does not correspond with his destiny. But his spirit has been hungry. So when he came to an environment that, 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 that carries something that can help his life, even though the man does not know the things of the man, but his spirit understands. So when he came to an environment that is compatible with the hunger in his spirit, though the man does not understand, but his spirit now received the impartation, then his head will have to catch up with the realities of his spirit. So over the years now, he began to learn, he began to learn, to now understand the implication of what happened to him that day. One guy met me some time ago, some a certain time ago, I was, I was teaching at the encounter on the supernatural, and he came to meet me, the guy came, I don't know if he's here, I don't know if he's here, he came, it was the first time he came, he's, he was wearing some t- torn trousers and, there, and you know, he came and met me, he said, sir, he said, sir, I don't know what's happening to me, I said, he said, this is my first time, and I know, I saw when we were talking, I saw four, p- three people, they came to me and they started talking to me. Like, I don't know who are those people. Who are those people? Ha <laughs> ha, my God. This man, the spirit of a man understand. You don't, you are, you know, you are too small. You are too small. The, but you are, that you are in a spiritual environment. They are impartations. The words that I speak, they are spirits. And they are life. So, a transference of spirit, impartations of life. You don't need to understand, just receive. My God, just receive. We operate from a realm that transcends that of life on earth. Here. Thank you, Jesus. Galatians chapter 3, verse 3. Galatians chapter 3, verse 3. Oh, glory be to Jesus. I'm excited here. I'm a blessed man. Are you blessed? So, are ye so foolish, having begun in the spirit, and now are ye now made perfect in the, by the flesh? Having begun in the spirit, are ye now made perfect? perfect in the flesh look at me carefully how did you give your life to christ does it make sense why well, you that was you were living certain kind of life you were living certain kind of life then one day they told you that jesus can deliver you jesus can save you and you cannot be born again and they say ah, i cannot be born again i cannot be born again with all that i have done i would have committed all sort of sins can i can god ever forgive me then they ask you to come for altar call. Then you came for altar call. And they say, say after me, Lord Jesus. And certain things were said and you just said after them. They now look at you and say, now you are a new creature. All things have passed away. All things have become new. How do you explain that? Me? Are you telling me that all things have passed away? That all the things that I've done, God has forgiven me in just saying the word of two minutes and of truly, truly, in just this short word, you are saved. You now woke up one day, you discover that those, those things that you used to do, you do them no more. There is this joy of the Lord that is wailing from your spirit. is boiling from your spirit. And you're like, ah, is it just these short words that I speak? It's not just the words that you speak. You better 
Peter said the words that you speak. He says, you shall believe in your heart, you shall confess with your mouth. You shall be saved. Just these short things. But now, just that thing, just that thing that you did here, you are now born again. Do now say that now, if, if now you can, you, you are now saved and Jesus now sees you as a new creature. Just this short thing that you did. Yes, why, why it was looking short in, in, the, in the flesh? It was looking short in the flesh, but in the spirit it was a thousand years. So if that things have been done in the spirit. Now, and you're not saying that, oh, ye foolish guys, you haven't begun in the spirit. You are not saying that the things, how you can't you remember how you were saved? It does it make sense? The way you were saved was not making sense. How come you now want to live by sense? The way you were saved, how come you, it was not making any, now there were not even too much exegesis. They just said, come and receive Jesus. And you received Jesus and you were saved. Now we are now saying that now that you are saved, let's now begin to walk by the Spirit and in the Spirit. Now, you now want to bring your intelligence to the matter. Were you saved by intelligence? You don't want to be gone. You know, you know I, I was sharing something last Sunday about a brother that shared something. He said, he, said he woke up one day, he woke up one day and, and the, the man of God the, 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 no, no, sorry, the spirit of God told him that he should buy shoes he should buy shoes to a certain music minister he's a music minister and the Lord asked him to go and buy shoes for a certain music minister I, I just, and he, bought, he went and ordered powerful shoes and sent to the he took it to the man of God I mean the music minister who is ahead of him and he prayed for him and, and the Lord, as, as he was going the Lord told him I, wherever this man because you don't have an open door you, you, you are a singer nobody invites you but this man is everywhere he doesn't even know what to do with invitation he said no problem there's a way this thing can work as he begins to walk everywhere they invite him to and he uses your shoes to that place he will go because wherever the sole of your feet now it may not be the sole of your feet but you are the one that sponsored the feet <laughs> so, so wherever wherever you are going wherever he goes wherever he ministers you will be found there they will invite you guess what as he begins to the man began to move just wearing shoes they said everywhere he went to they cannot explain why they invite him but the shoes understand the soul the soul of the feet was testifying and everywhere was going to now listen to me you can doubt this thing and say oh this is a new testament this is new. they are inviting you it's not a new testament they are inviting him now no see people i told you listen carefully the day you want resort is better drop english and follow god you know all, all of those things you want to make sense you want to be you want to make sense you want to be correct you want to be correct but your life is stagnant well look at this guy now he's everywhere the man went he was going but that was how he had open, an open door. One day God told him, he was the one sharing this. I saw this online. He was the one sharing this. He's the one God told him, he said, give all, anywhere you go to, give 30% of all the money they give you, give to your mother. 30% give to your mother. Said, ah, 30% mean I'm just starting. He started like that. He started like that. Before you know, shift upon shift. Shift upon shift. You that did economics, explain this. Explain this. You that started solid accounting, Explain this one now. Oh, 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 oh this one that is, is moving everywhere. Oh, what cause did they study in school that helps about that one, around that one now? See, that is how, that is how people have left themselves in disadvantage point. A dis disadvantage point by the intelligence of their head. Eventually, all their intelligence is encapsulated within the flesh and blood. I have made up my mind. I will not live my life just by process. I will live by the wings of the spirit. So I must understand what, how to get this thing fast. Time is not on our side. Time is not on our side. Each time you hear that Jesus is coming very soon, you better look for a faster way to, 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 for impact. A faster means to get it right. And these are the ways. Our vantage point is the point of the spirit. It's the point of the spirit. So the, 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 the man of God in, in, in 1 Kings chapter 17, 18 to 16, we don't have time to read that. The man of God saw the Zerifat woman and said, and said, uh, you know, uh, what do you have? He said, ah, I don't have anything. I just have a morsel of flowers and all of that for my, and oil to bake it for my own child and so that we can eat and die. By the reason of economy, they are supposed to eat and die. If they have analyzed everything, they have done their budgeting and discovered that now we know when we are going to die based on budget. You see, that's why I pity those who live their life on budgets. See, you know, you know budget, 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 budget. Because common sense is not common in certain realm. But so, you know, some, if some people don't really have the sense, so sometimes when you want to work with them, first of all, give them the common sense. Then after they have achieved common sense, say, okay, can we step up? I, I remember some years ago, I wanted to learn, I wanted to learn, I wanted to learn, you know, web, web design. 
and the, the, the man, I pray you understand what I'm going to say now. I know, and the man, we, we, we paid, we paid. And I was like, thank God, I finally paid for web design. And the man started teaching us HTML. And that was the first time I saw HTML. The man was started teaching me HTML. I was so excited. I was moving everywhere like, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I'm a web designer now. I'm a web designer now. I was just learning HTML. So when after teaching us HTML, when it was one week to, to, to finish our course, he said, actually, actually, uh, you have to pay for that thing. He says, I, I don't, he say you have, you have to let them uh, 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 see, I mean, uh, see, what? C++, C++, you have to learn C++, and in fact, there is also a PHP for you to learn, there are also, I say, oh God, if they have told us so that I'll save my money, and I'm not even start the journey, now, I have finished this thing, you're not telling us that, there is already, what are you, why, 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 you start saying there is JavaScript, there is even JavaScript, why are you disturbed, now, I have learned HTML, I wanted to go and go and shine, only to discover that, <laughs> only to discover that, that one was just a, come, come, now, so there are times that we have to lure people with common sense. Just let them know that you need to have common sense because the way you are living your life like this, you need common sense, you need common sense. When you now have common sense, we say, actually, actually, this common sense will leave you common. We have to go to kingdom sense. So you see somebody that is bragging about, is bragging about, as I am that is, I'm not a fool. I'm not a fool. I have, I have sense. I'm not somebody who can deceive. I have common sense. I have sense. If they may not want to call it common sense, but that's the name. I have sense. I am an intelligent person. Eh? And you are looking at him and say, Oh God, I wish you knew that. I just learned HTML. When he, when he is done, we now let you know that, Oh God, Oh God, there is more to it than this. Because all of this education that you have received is the education of the blood and the flesh. The flesh and the blood. So he said, He said, Woman. He said, So the woman did a budget. And common, that which is common sense, budgeting. And say, After eating this, we are going to die. And the, and the man of God said, Go and break it for me to eat. Excuse me? He said, go and give it to me to eat. You know, now, this man of God, I just, uh, if, if you don't even have heart, have heart for this child, that I said, you know, I, I you know, just imagine if the man of God would say, oh, oh, actually, it, it doesn't make sense. Break it for you and your child to eat. Now, do, just imagine these two scenarios. A man of God came and said, and said, don't do like that. Elisha, don't do like that. You, I, I have compassion for people. I don't want you to fall into the hands of this wrong man of God. Bake it and eat you and your child. And this other man of God say, bring it, bake it and bring it for me to eat. If you are analyzing these two people from the standpoint of common sense, who is a good man? The one that say, bake it and eat. I watched a video recently. Of course, I'm not mentioning him because I don't even know the name of the person. You know, he, he said he called people out to come and give. Come to come and give. Then when he says, he now came and says, see, this is not, you're not even supposed to give. People are going through a lot of things. Don't give. This is not time to be giving that and offering. This is not time to be giving that and offering. People are suffering. This needs a man of God saying like that. You know, you know, and, 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 and it's a time, whatever you have, eat it. That means that even you're tired, eat it because people are suffering. And when you listen to this man from the angle of common sense, no, this man is a good man. He has heart. He's not this man of God that are just looking for tithe and offering. And everybody is be celebrating him. Not knowing that the problem, I was analyzing that man of God. And it's done on me that it could be that even him does not even believe that this thing works. I remember earlier all those times in this ministry, even in this ministry too. I, I, several times I found myself, I, 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 I felt bad when I see people giving because I know most of these guys don't have most of these guys don't have. And you see them coming to want to give seed. They want to give offering. I said, no, don't worry, don't worry. One day God told me, he said, he said how did you start giving? Well, you, did you start giving because you had? I said, no. He said, is it, how, what made, he said because I love you. So you are, are you trying to say that these people have not grown enough to love me like you do? Are you, also, are you trying to also say that you love them enough to a point that you don't even believe that when I say if you give, you shall be blessed? You, do, you don't even believe it. Because it's a time that even as a man of God or as a woman of God, out of, in quote, good heart, out of good heart, you talk people out of their blessings. The man of God said, bring it. And as they brought it, there was an activation of multiplication in their lives. If you say, okay, he was a man of God, Jesus was not like that. Jesus, he said, he said go and look for who has the, any food here. 
it was only a shy that have five loaves of bread and two fish right just a shy jesus does say oh yeah it's a shy that has it let the shy eat it jesus collected it our jesus collected it or god is a shy woman is for a baby jesus collected this <laughs> now you know eventually how many baskets was left 12. So, if, 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 so when you now look at this thing carefully you will discover that the wheels of the spirit don't make sense in the realms of men they don't make sense that's why if you if our world is so intelligent and they are growing in intelligence and it's into their own detriment where people are becoming so intelligent that they are ignoring the, the wisdom of God the wisdom of God Luke chapter 18 verse 27. Luke 18 verse 27. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I'm more getting close now. Are you there? Luke 18 27. And he said, the things which are impossible with men are what? Are possible with God. That means that whenever you find yourself, now listen, this is a very powerful thing. The scripture you are seeing like this. Oh, it's a very powerful scripture. Whenever you come to a point in your life and you hit impossibility, switch. Switch. Oh. Let me show you a scripture. Let me show you a scripture. Maybe that will explain this. Switch. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh. Thank you, Jesus. Let me show you a scripture. Because I'm going to... Def- I, I need to build a foundation to what I'm going to share. I've not started my message, really. I just want to give you the foundation. Thank you, Jesus. First Samuel chapter 2, verse 9. First Samuel chapter 2, verse 9. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Okay. And I will keep the feet of his saint, and the wicked shall be silent in the darkness. For by strength shall no man what? Prevail. By strength shall no man prevail. I wish I knew this thing earlier. You know, Apostle, you know, I was telling something, Apostle, on the 1st of January, he came to my house, I told him, Kai, there's something I discovered. There's something I discovered. And I wish I knew this thing earlier. And I was telling him, begin to follow that. Because there are certain things God wants me to do. I'm already sensing it in my spirit. But if I have to follow process to get them, my journey will be long. I needed a faster way, faster way to get it done. There, there, there are dimensions this ministry should move to. Are, I'm hungry in my spirit. I, there are dimensions this ministry should move to. But I say, God, because see, he said, we said, he said, he said, with God, things, these things may be impossible with men, but with God, with God, with God. Because how do you know? So sometimes you have exhausted everything that you know, everything. And you know, you know, when you don't know, when there is something yet to know, there is hope, because it's a consolation of perceived ignorance. When you believe that the reason why I am at this point is because I have not known something. But when you have known what you think is the is uh, are you understanding my English at all? For instance, you now say that the reason why I am where I am now is because I have not gotten my masters. The way you not get your masters, you now discover that ah, my life has not shifted. You say, okay, maybe because I've not gotten PhD. The way you now get PhD, and your life that is where frustration starts. But when you just have degree, there is hope. The hope comes from the consolation of perceived ignorance. The ignorance of masters, the ignorance of PhD, that I, you just believe that the why you are not where you are is because you have not done something. For instance, somebody could think that the reason why I have not started working in certain anointings is because I have not fasted for 100 days. Then you now go and fast for 100 days and your life is still at one point. That creates frustration. Frustra- there's a frustration that comes with fulfilling everything that you think is a requirement. Although you are fulfilled, but you are still at a point. You understand my English at this point? Now, so now, this is what I'm saying, that there, in, with man, some things are impossible. So you have tried everything that you know how to do, but there is still impossibility in your life. You have tried all the principles. I know exactly what I'm saying. Where you have tried everything, you were, you were thinking that why you are still at a point is because you have not done something. Only to have done it and you are still at that point. To think that the reason why you are where you are is that you have not touched something. Only to have touched it. Then you are still at the point. Then at that point, what you need is a shift of a realm. Knowing that you have reached the 
climax of this realm and your life is at a point. So what you need is a shift. I started doing certain studies. I started doing certain studies. Certain studies. And I'm, I'm here to, you know, I say I, I was eager to come here to share with you. My God, am I too far from you guys? Are you with me at all? Okay. You are bigger than what people say. Bigger than what people say. Bigger than what people say. Yahweh. Oh. You are bigger than what people say. Bigger than what people say. Bigger than what people say. Yahweh. Oh. You are higher than what people say. Higher than what people say. Higher than what people say. What people say. Yahweh. Oh. You are higher than what people say. Higher than what people say. I cannot move, I cannot stand, I cannot do it on my own. I cannot move, I cannot stand, I cannot do it on my own. You are higher than what people say. Higher than what people say. Higher than what people say. Yahweh. Discovered something, sir. I'm just going, see, there is a realm I want to enter. I'm telling you. There are results you want. Common sense cannot help you get it. Common sense cannot help you get it. You need to shift plans. I said, I've been doing my research. Bro. I've been doing my research. I discovered that everybody that has the kind of result I'm looking for, they are people of faith. Is there they are, they are preachers of faith? Or they act by faith? Or they live by faith? They are faith people. I did not tell you. Now, I told him, I said, go out this year, go and gather books on faith. I went and gathered off all books, set him up to 10 different compilations of books on faith. You want that for five, right? I told him, go and learn on faith. If it's this kind of result you're looking for, Oga, let's change gear. Go on faith. It works faster than looking for dimensions. I know what I'm saying. They, 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 some days ago, I was listening to Pastor Chris. Pastor Chris was saying something. I told him when he came to my house, I said, Hey, Pastor Chris, you said something now. He said, Have you noticed that every man of, man of God, either, either an evangelist or whatever his name is, or is a pastor, that are doing heavy, heavy, uh, you know, revival around the world, they are, they are world evangelism 
all of them are people of faith. You, the, you will see their results it's different from even those they are evangelicals. They are just talking doctrine, 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 doctrine. But they are talking down on the word of faith. Look at them. Everyone that you know. Is it is it or a robot? Is it is it even Keshi Kuman that everybody is talking about? They don't understand. Or a Keshi Kuman and or a robots, they are like this. They are working on that issue of faith. You see all of them, Ram Bonke, all of these people, they are ministers of it. These are, these are people they call faith preacher. Faith people. They are not born. Faith people. It was Pastor Chris was saying, I said, I wish he was, he was speaking like he was hearing my mind. I see, I noticed this thing now. Everyone that is, they are faith people. I see no wonder they are called. The, the, the Bible calls some people heroes of faith, not heroes of anointing. He said, you shall walk, you, the just shall walk by faith, by faith, not even by prayer. The prayer is to bring you to the point of faith. The essence of prayer. And you think that is the that is just a means to an end. The end is faith. Building up your faith. Building your yourself on your most holy faith. You did not build the anointing. Building on your most holy faith. Praying in tongues. Not just praying in tongues to build yourself. Faith. What is the victory that will come there? It's not faith. I didn't know now. If I had known these things, I would have told you. I know. And that's what I said today. I was rushing down to talk to you guys. We no longer, if you want to live a life, a live a life above the Lord, then you have to live above the Lord. You know, we know enough to walk. You see, see, I need to show you a scripture. Sit down first. Let me show you a scripture first. I say, I, I, today, today, there's a way it is. Let me show you a scripture. Hmm. Sec- let me give you like five scriptures because this thing is a new thing. Second Corinthians chapter 12, verse 2 to 4. Second Corinthians chapter 12. I knew a man in Christ about 40 years ago, whether in the body I cannot tell, or whether out of the body I cannot tell. God knew it. Such an one caught up to the third heaven. I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell. God knew it. Eh? Verse, the next one. How that he was caught up into paradise and had unspeakable words, which is not what lawful for a man to utter. That means that he has received a revelation that is not lawful for man to utter. That means that that means that the things that we need to shift is not going to be lawful. Okay, don't, don't worry. Romans 3, verse 20. Just follow me. Romans 3, verse 20. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Romans 3, verse 20. Oh, Romans 3. Uh, now, therefore, by the deeds of what? Of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. Now, now follow me carefully because text, contextually speaking, this scripture is talking about justification by faith and all of that. But there's a revelation I got from this and I'm going to share with you now. I don't know. So, no, there's no, no man shall be justified, but now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested. That, you see, it's not lawful to utter this one with the, the kind of righteousness we're looking for is without the law. Hmm. Galatians 5, verse 4 to 5. My God, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Christ is become of no effect unto you who so Galatians chapter 4 verse 4 Galatians chapter 4 verse 4 thank you Lord Jesus oh hallelujah mm. but when the fullness of the time was come God sent forth his son made of a woman made under what excuse me made under what that means Jesus came under what the law the woman gave back to him under what the law he followed the process of the law to be born he was born that by the woman, by the principles of the law. Right? Then when you now go to verse to redeem them that are under the law, so he was born under the law. Some of us were are born under the law. There are several laws, the laws of gravity, the laws of life, the laws of right, all of those laws. That is how we were born. And but the redemption that Jesus came to give us was to redeem us from the law. That means we have to get a level of knowledge that is not lawful 
now are you with me now that the things we are the revelation and the level of wisdom we are going to work with does not make sense they don't follow the details of the laws of life the laws of the flesh the laws of all of those laws it means that we are going to defy the laws e.g the laws of gravity so that so in such a way that philip can dis philip can disappear he disappeared and moved to Azotus. He moved to a land. He just disappeared. The guy just moved. Now, that thing that happened, it doesn't even follow the law. It doesn't follow the law. So, somebody said that God is not a magician. Because, you know, we are not saying God is a magician. We are saying that who is even a magician? What God cannot do those things is now. So, we are, we, are, we are telling you that we must, we, now, because, we, because we were born under the law, we have been so educated to want to do everything that is lawful. Oh my God. So if, if, if it doesn't make sense, we think it's nothing. Not knowing that we are now living above the law. So now, so, so God, God can do things in your life that defy the law of gravity. The, like, the likes of, uh, 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 the likes of, you know, do you ever know the law of gravity? He said these things are not lawful. That means there are laws that are on earth. There are laws that we, they just want you to follow. But the things that we are going to work with is not. We are not going to work by law. We are going to work by faith. And faith is the evidence of things. So for what? What? Is the substance of things so for the evidence of things not seen by it? The elders obtain good report. That means if you are looking for a good report, then your report is going to come by the things that are not seen. Are you at this point now? So that we now know by that the worlds were not framed by the were framed by the worlds of God, not by the laws of men, but by the worlds of God, so much that we can now see that the things that are seen are products of the unseen. So if your intelligence is the intelligence of gravity, even aerodynamics is higher than the, the law of aerodynamics is even stronger than the law of gravitational force. Then if, if the aerodynamics because for instance when the Wright brothers came up with this issue of iron floating in the air using the principle of aerodynamics people even their father called them they said they were they were, they were saying rubbish they said they, they were they were how do they call those people that are going off scripture they say heretic they said they were heretics so because all they knew was a gravitational force but they came up with a higher intelligence that could make an object as you know big planes to fly in the air. Now, if aerodynamics could defy gravity, the law of the spirit can defy aerodynamics. You know, there's a way I'm building my faith. Eh? There's a way I'm building my faith to a point that I will just believe that there's nothing God cannot do. You know, all of us can say it very relaxed. Relax. <laughs> you are just talking. You are just talking. Small while come now, you just be shouting. What well, we are saying that you will get to a point where you say, forget it. You see this, you, your faith is so moving the point that you can stay and this building start moving up. And you're not surprised. Like, God can do it. God can do it. Somebody begins to shout. You say, the, the Lord is my shepherd. I say, would I want to develop the value of shepherd? Because they know, you're not working the value of shepherd. I'm the one moving it. Now, so, so because you are, if, you, you know, you can use, you can use Bible. You can use Bible to fight against God's word. Mm. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying now? So, so, yeah, yeah. I get what I'm saying now. Good, good. Yes. So, are you with me this point now? So, we are, we, we are, we are talking about, we are talking about where somebody, you get to a point where, you know, you, you, you are too intelligent. You are too wise. You are too wise. So, you know, the, you know, this, the pastor Jesus was saying something. He said, when they wanted to move into, into the realm of millions, he and his wife, they came together and said, let us contribute money until the money gets to a million and we sow it and they contributed they contributed they kept saving keeping saving until the money hit a million and immediately they gave it bam they broke into millions you explain it you study study accounting you explain it a young man was sharing sharing the other day he said he said he said he wanted to break into this thing He's, he, he wanted to break into this thing. He's, he decided he decided to go and, and start working, carrying blocks on his head.
carrying all of those things on his head to, to gather the money. He wanted to bring it to millions. And he gathered them. He gathered them. He said that he could even pay for accommodation. What I'm saying now, when you're ever hearing his story, any man of God that preached to him like that, that man of God is wicked. The guy cannot pay for his house rent. You are saying you save. You save. For what kind of are you talking about? And he saved. And he, was, he had a million. He go and he sold the million. One day he went again to go and pack, pack the block. And one woman saw him. I said, a young man, uh, what are you doing? You are working. He said, yes. Uh, what is your, your qualification? He said, I'm a graduate. He said, ah, you are carrying this thing. He said, yeah. He said, okay. He, she gave the card to the guy. The card to the guy. He said, see me the next day in the office. The guy came. And the next day, they gave the guy a job. They gave him a car. or, or I think a car and accommodation. Everything settled. Now, before you know, they are, uh, the money they started paying him. In fact, a few times, the guy was looking at, before they married the guy, everything settled at once. <laughs> you know, does this thing make sense? Sense people. You know, you know, people, people, people use sense to limit themselves. Is it this kingdom you want to use law to organize? You know, we, we, we are, he said, how foolish are you that you were, you were, you were, you were, you were not saved by, by the principles of the flesh. Now you want to be perfected by it. Say, oh, foolish. That's how to be foolish. If you want to be foolish, that's the way. I know a man, the guy was out of his body. Now, that's, that's what I'm going to do. Say something that I now ordered. So now, what is it? Because now, now. So you now see Paul and Silas in prison. He said, though you are in this world, but you are not of this world. These are crazy statements you are hearing like this. Powerful statement that you don't even know. You are in this world, you are not of this world. That means I am where I am not of. I am where I am not of. That's, these are duality of experience, of reality. I am where I am not of. I am in the, either in the body or the body I cannot tell. Because I operate in the, 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 the dual realms. And the body I cannot tell. So now this guy is, is in the body. I mean, he's in the prison, but he's not of prison. So therefore, he's beginning to sing praises. They begin to pray and begin to sing praises. Well, that, that means, though they are in the prison, they just switch into a realm where praises and singing are the communications of that realm. So, because if you can't be in prison and sing praises, that means you have to be away from prison. You have to be out, you need to have out of the body experience. Though in the prison bodily, so if, if the experience in the body is a limitation, then you need the out of the body experience. So that though you are here, but you are not of this place. Like they say, the, the guy in Matano, they will pay now. We don't see everything the guy they go through. You see, they sing about because the guy is having out of the body experience. So he's not, he's in the head, but he's not of this world. So therefore, he begins to sing songs. He begins to sing songs. And they say, ah, you are having wahala trouble, but you are singing songs. He said, no. Actually, if I'm looking at my wahala, there is nothing about my wahala that has to do with song. So the only way I can sing songs is to switch to where I am off. So it is on this note that somebody can be watching, worshiping God when he looks like he's washing out. <laughs> I mean, uh, so you, you, your life may be looking like you are down, but you just switch. They say the guy. So somebody who cannot understand the realities of the realm you are of, he looks at you and the kind of things you are saying, they are not lawful within the realm of the bodily experience. And he now says you are proud because he sees that even what you are saying is a low version of experience from the world you belong. But in this world is a big statement. So he says you are proud. Whereas from the realm where you belong, unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask in this realm or think in this realm according to the power that worketh in us. Because the power that worketh in us is not the power that is subjected by the things we ask or the things that we think. Hmm. But it's a realm that God can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ever ask or think. There's something I may know to shift my life. But there's, there's an experience I will have that I don't need to know what I will need to know to shift my life. The experience can cover up for the things I don't know. Hmm. What does that English I'm speaking? Are you ready for this message today? Because I said, I don't know. I was thinking, should I even share this or I should just... Are you with me, Okwe? Okay? <laughs> My God. See, we, we, we are stepping. Okay, let me give you advantage. Sit down. Let me give you... Oh my God. No, 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 no. Do we have time for this? Do we have time for this? I have nine different advantages. <laughs> what are we going to do now? Number one is the word advantage.
Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. Hebrews 4 verse 12. Mm, thank you, Jesus. For the word of God is quick. I heard. Somebody say quick. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the, of the heart. So that, that morning, that morning, I was, I was like, I, some, I, couldn't, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. I said, ah, Lord help you, Lord help you. I, because before I went, to the, I went to bed that night, I received a signal of an attack several years ago. Several years ago. And that time I said, Lord, make your word real in my life. Make your word real in my life. I want to see the reality of your word in my life. Because if you say the word of God is real, some of us say the word of God is real. I said, Lord, I want to see how real the word of God is. So that day, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. And I knew that if I have to call, if I have to call, it's going to, before they could come, play this would have happened. I needed something that is quicker than phone call. And the only thing that was quicker than phone call is the word of God. The word of God is quick. Somebody said the word of God is quick. So something tells you that uh, when you are in a situation, hey, hey, who can I call now? Who can I call now? Because you feel the phone call is quicker than the word. I went to gather the word. I wish above all things that I may prosper and be in good health. Even though I'm so prosperous. I went to get capsules. I, by his stripes, I am healed. Ah, he sent his word and his word healed them. I was eating. I was taking these capsules. I was taking these capsules. I was taking these capsules. Until suddenly, hmm, I said, indeed, this thing they work. The word of God. <laughs> Is that how the song says? It the works out. And not just, not just that it's, it's it, you know, the only thing, or one of the only things, that could be used to describe the word is light. I know how fast light is. So, you stay here and declare that anybody in your family that is having this, and I will declare a word from here. And where the person is in your family is healed. No doctor can be that fast. No doctor can be that fast. One of our advantages is the word advantage. It gives us the benefit of speed. Speed. To order the things in our life as fast as possible. Order my steps in your word. Please dear Lord. Guide me every day. Send you anointing. Father I pray. Order my steps in your word. All the in your world. So, for instance, you begin to declare the word. So, as a minister, I begin to declare. And, and the mountains of the Lord shall be lifted, exalted above all the mountains. And people shall flow into it. You begin to declare these things. You begin to declare these things. You begin to declare these things. It's faster than posters. Declaring. Declaring the word. The word you in the middle of the night, you find yourself feeling a pain somewhere. Go for the word, that is where our power is. Go is an advantage. The world does not have this, but we do. Before you go for parastamon, go for what word of queen. Oh, before you go for chloroquine, go for the word of queen. I mean, go for word of queen <laughs> faster. It's faster. It's faster. One of the ways you practice this, this even though you're going to take chloroquine, go for word of queen first. You intentionally practice the word. You practice to engage the word before you engage other, other things. Not that way you are taking chloroquine, not remembering the word of God. The word is an advantage. Number two. My God. Oh. The faith advantage. Oh, I've said this. I couldn't even wait to get here before I, would, I just released it. Mm. First John chapter 5 verse 4. First John, let me show you something powerful. First John chapter 5 verse 4. Take me deeper. Deeper. Teach me the ways of the deep, Lord. Show me the power of the ancient. Take me deeper. Woo! Deeper. Teach me the ways. 
show me the plan of the ancient. For whatsoever is born. Okay, someone says whatsoever. What, what, what does whatsoever mean? Hmm. Is this fan whatsoever? Is fan whatsoever? Is the phone whatsoever? Is my clothes whatsoever? <laughs> whatsoever, if you can dare be born of God. If it's possible that the phone can be born of God. If it's possible. If my hanky, if it's possible at all, that it can be born of God. Overcome it. It continues. Overcomes the world. How do you overcome the world? Be born of God. Hmm? Be born of God. Okay. Be born of God. If you can. Who is born of God here? Okay. By default, the world is under your feet. By default. Whosoever is born of ego flies. Hmm. Not that I don't know what to say. I'm just soaking what I just said now in my spirit. I'm just soaking it. I want this thing to land well. I have overcome the world. I have overcome the world. Overcome the world. And this is the victory that overcome the world. Our faith. So it's our faith. Men that have conquered this world. It will look like is it you think that they overcame the world by the anointing. Faith. Somebody can have anointing, he doesn't have faith. He doesn't have faith. A man or you know, he, or, or, or the lost born. The lost born can and you know when he was in that when he was in that meeting, or a robber was in that meeting, some of these heavy men was in the, were in that meeting, and the lost born said that he said nobody in this world has been able to evangelize the world like he and his wife. So what kind of statement is this? What, no, he said, when he, when he used to use anointing and singing before, or a robot does laying of hands to heal. He said, no one has, no, has healed people rather than he and his wife. Or a T.L. Osborne doesn't need atmosphere to heal. So that when he will sing, sing, atmosphere of then, or a robot will lay hands, but he said he doesn't. He, he uses word of faith. And it's the fastest way to heal. Now, listen. We have been doing laying on of hands here. But there's, there's a way we want to mass produce supernatural. And that's what I'm trying to teach. That just stepping into the encounter arena, your life will experience a shift. Because why? It is an environment that is, that is charged with the spirit of faith. Born of God. My God. Born of God, sir. <laughs> That is just, it's just, it's just. If I can but come, if I but, you see, ah, ah, daughter, your faith has made you whole. It's not me, oh. You see, even our faith, not God's faith. You see, your faith. You see, if I can but touch the hem of his garment. Somebody say, if you can lay hands on me. Somebody say, if I can just hear him speak. So, somebody say, if I can just touch the hem of his garment. Somebody say, if I can just hear them worship. So if somebody speak, I can just sit down. You know, one of our brothers was sharing that. It's very striking. He said, he said, one of those days after they drop us from the encounter, he said, he said, he said, all he needed is to sit on the chair that I sat after the encounter. So when they drove me home, he, he said, he sat on the same chair of the car when I sat. And, and he said, Lord, the every encounter that Pastor Steve used to have, let me begin to have as I sit here. He said, after that day, bam, he broke into dimensions of encounters. Now, I didn't pray for him. Now, you see this word? There's the way it is. If you understand the power of faith, you can unlock the supernatural anywhere by any means. Under any condition. Under any condition. Don't, 
because I, why it is easy to mass produce is this. Somebody say if I can burn seat. Somebody say if you can lay hands on me. Somebody say if you can just come around. Somebody say if I can even touch the curtain. Somebody say if I can just hear. Somebody can. So different people have different things, and all of them are having the same encounters because they by by faith they link up to the virtues of the house. They link up to the things that God was doing. So now, but a man of God can limit the whole congregation to laying on of hands. So he has conditioned everybody's mind that if all you need is for me to lay hands on you. But people can experience God more than that. All they need is they can even, they, it's called self-services. When MTN tell you that MTN tell that if you can service yourself, they'll tell you that if you want to recharge, there's a place. No, I don't, I don't know what they call it. Even bank, the bank, they'll do that like, how do you guys call it? Is it self on your app? Self-service. Oh, faith is the self-service in this kingdom. So that self-service that you go to the app, what do you want? You don't need to call customer service. You don't need to call anybody. Do you know the right button to press? If, if you I recharge, you want to do, there is a place you can recharge without calling the bank manager. There is a place where you can make transfer without calling the bank. It's called self-service. So the woman make, uh, made up her mind that I will engage in my own self-service. So she decides, so on my, by my own, nobody told me it's a self-service. If I can just touch the hem of his garment. Nobody taught you how. Nobody taught how. That's how powerful faith is. Oh. That's how powerful faith is. Oh. People can write their own laws by themselves. Oh, because we are above the law. Yeah, yeah. So we can write our laws. <laughs> are you doing this now? So they say, they say if, I can, but if I can but touch the hem. Nobody told her. Where is it written? That Don't limit yourself by it is written. You, show, you, can, you can just. Then the man said, no, don't go to my house. Don't go to my house. Now, let me tell you something. I want to use what I know as a soldier. If I, if I tell the soldier goes and he goes. Now, let me do some self-service from what I know from military. Because I used to command my soldier and they, and they follow. You, command. Command, let's see. Uh, the man now telling Jesus to speak. Not that Jesus said, tell me to speak. He said, you, he said me, me, I am going to decide how I will touch this power. You speak. And he, he spoke and the, the servant was healed immediately. And Jesus said, my God... <laughs> You know, but Jesus ever said, my God, okay, let's say so. <laughs> okay, Jesus of Nazareth can shout, my God. But Jesus, <laughs> he said, Jesus, ah, in Israel, somebody can have this faith. Somebody can have this faith. Why? If, when you have faith, you overcome the world. One of the ways, one of the proofs that you have overcome in the world is that you can manipulate the world. You can manipulate the world. So somebody said that all I need is to take seven steps. And it will be seven steps ahead of my, my, my contemporaries. So she says, several steps. So, who where is it written? I have overcome the world. I manipulate the world according to how I want it to be. Somebody said, as I'm going, you, what is the problem? He said, he said you are sick. You are sick. Get me water. He, where is it the Bible that I should get water? He said, just get me water. And you know, you know my wife was sharing something the other day. Somebody was, I don't know what was the problem that day. The person was sick, right? Yeah, okay, it was you. It was you. Come, come. It's, it was you. you. The mother was sick, right? And after the encounter, you met, you met my wife, Pastor Fina, and she said, okay, she carried water and prayed on the water. You gave to your mother. What was the problem with the mother? It was, I think she matched charm, actually, so the leg was swollen. So I met my mother. Mama, she just prayed. So she prayed on water and gave it to me. I took it home, gave it to my mom. She took it. In the morning, I kind of woke up early to go and check the leg. It was okay. She came to me that after she drank the water, she could feel the relief for it. it. Now, where is it in the Bible? Where is it in the Bible? We have overcome the world. We manipulate the systems. So, so you now said, so I, the same thing now that happened by water. I can wake up and say I will use it with my clothes. Why? Is the, I've overcome the world. I manipulate this. So that is how you now see the, 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 the St. Patrick will look at the demon. No, 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 no. Hey, hey Alan. Hey, Alan. Look at a demon possessed. He look into the eyes of the demon possessed. He said, I am E.E. Allen. I am E.E. Allen. And the devil checked out. He said, this name. I know this name. <laughs> St. Patrick came to a land of, of, of the king. The child died for about four months or six months. Six months. Six months, sir. Six months. And he said, if your God is that powerful. Now, my child has been dead for six months. What can I do? And he said, yeah, wonderful. Because whenever there's a problem, it's an opportunity to shine. Yeah. So he carries, he carries, he carries his, his, a, a pen and went to the grave and, and wrote his signature. Signature, sir. Signature. We have overcome the world, sir. We manipulate the systems of this world. My God. Are you with me to this point now? See, see this, is a, this is a way to hasten this thing. We don't have time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She became, we don't have time. 
we have to manipulate the system until it fits what we want to do. We are, under, we are not under the law. Because the things, the wisdom by which we operate is not what mouth can utter. It's not lawful. What I'm saying is not lawful. Is it lawful? It doesn't follow law. You are saying you know law. You are just a prof of flesh and blood. <laughs> flesh and blood. That is how to fast. Let's get it. Don't get this thing done fast. Build yourself. Faith is an advantage. By it, we command the systems of this world to respond. Tell me where is it lawful that you shall walk upon the waters? Or you don't understand utmost trust? We all up trust. Up, up trust. What do you guys call it? Up trust. Litmus tension. Don't, don't you know those things? Surface tension. Don't you know those things? Surface tension does not permit you to walk on water. Up trust. It does not even. So this did you not know, say come and walk on. Just come. And the guys are there walking on. I say, what manner of mind is it? Where is it in the law that you can speak to the wind? Where is it in the law? Where is it in the law? He said, Pete, me come and the man came. And he said, walking on water. Where is it in the law? Where is it? Where is it that you can speak to the, to the wind? Where is it that you can speak to the tree? Where is it that you can speak to money? Money, come. For the earnest expectation of the, of the creation. Wait for the manifestation of the sons of God. So money is a creation. Money is a creation. And it's the hand of the wrong person. And he said the creation is groaning. He said, take, so, take me from the hands of the wrong people. Money wants me to call him. <laughs> he said, call him. Come forth. Lazarus. Come forth, Lazarus. Where is it in the law? For the things that I know, they are not lawful to be uttered. Can you pray in the Holy Ghost? Pray in the Holy Ghost. God of space. I cast my crown in the morning and time I worship to the holy God who reigns and rules forever. And I will bow with my hands, the ancient one. I feel it on the shallow love. I am God of space. I cast my crown. Holy you alone. Only you alone, only you alone, deserves my praise. Only you alone, only you alone, only you alone, deserves my praise. Ah. the faster lane. Spiritual advantage. No, the fourth one, right? The third one. Oh my God. I have nine. I'm not finished this thing. I have nine. The eternal life advantage. 
my God, thank you, Jesus. The eternal life advantage. John chapter 5, verse 26. John 5, verse 26. Mm. For as the Father has life in himself, so has he given to the Son to have life in himself. How do I explain this? For God so loved the world, John 3, 16, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him, what? Should not press, but have what? Eternal life. Now, look at me. For as the Father has life in himself, that means, Father was not given life. God was not given life. He has life in himself. Even so, as he given the Son to have life in himself. Now, what kind of statement is this? So, that means he has been given to have life in himself. Uh, how do I explain? No, I've said what I want to say, but your spirit needs to get it. Now, know that he has been given opportunity to, for God to give him life. But for him to have life in himself. That means he has life in himself. I'll keep saying it until you get it. I'll keep saying it until you get it. I have this phone in myself. I decide what to do with this phone. Okay. Power bank has life in itself. What? Between phone and power bank, who charges who? Which power does power bank use? It's not in the power bank. So the power bank has life in itself. He has power in himself. So he now decides to give the power to who he wishes to. Right? But the electricity gave it power to have power in itself. Huh. You guys know? This, this light does not have power in itself. But it has power because it was connected to power. But it does not have power in itself. When generator goes down, it goes off. But power bank does not go off. He has power in itself. <laughs> so the life that we have is the life of the Holy Ghost. And we is the way. Is God's kind of life. So when I am lying down, I'm not saying, Oh God, give me power. Mm. I have power in myself. <laughs> Hey. So I decide to I decide I'm a mobile mobile power. I go about with power. I and is in is an end is a life. It's not a long life, it's an eternal life. So this eternal life is the one that powers long life. I understand. Is is a life in in, a, in the order of Melchizedek, an eternal life, a, an endless life. So I know beginning of days no end. So we are not in the in the in the in the Aaron kind order of priesthood. We are the Melchizedek order of priesthood. No beginning, no end. It's not a long life. Long life has an end, but eternal life has no end. So because I have eternal life, I will have long life. I get what I'm saying. So because now now people. I now I decide when to go like Paul. Now this is it. This is it. Because the church has low self-esteem. So because the world has so the world has so he, he, so 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 imit, imitated imitated what we have. They're so imitated it that we started doubting the original. So this woman wants to is about to die, and she has turned into a principle in the spirit, and she decides to renew. She gets a life from another person and added to her own. She's all oh, young people are dying, but your mama is not dying because she's tapping life. Because in the realm of the spirit, there is a there is an agency that gives you the privilege of drawing life. You can charge your life. So Paul said that Paul said that I it is time for me to go, but because of my love for you, I have decided to stay. So so he said he's he said, he said, come quickly, broke my parchment. So we, we cannot die by shock. No, he no. We, he gives us, you are giving me revelation. Jesus, I am saying that. So we, 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 we are stepping into it. We are talking about, 
when you, you step up eternal life, when you wake up, you, you can literally feel the energy of God in you. You just know that I, I have life in myself. As God has given him to have life in himself, so has he given us. So what we have is eternal life. I have the God kind of life. So you take God to the lab and when you run a scan on God, the life that you find when you scan God is life that you find when you scan me. Because I have the life of God in me. So you wake up one day and you notice that you are feeling weak and the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, they quicken us in me. And you, by yourself, you begin to energize yourself. It's a building up yourself. The job of a man of God is to let you know that you have power in you. I have an engine on the inside where you can begin to power it. So you are weak and you begin to know. I don't need anybody to lay hands on me. For you have the anointing of the Holy One. No one will need to teach you because in you is a teacher. So what the person does that as I am speaking, as I am speaking, it may look like I am teaching you, but I am not teaching you. I am confirming what is in your spirit that you are not aware of. Pray the Holy Ghost. Savela Tosca. Let us be Latushka and don't blend the Vanta Bahashka and Laka Taka Taka. Hey, Felitis Idika to Bahasta. I have the life of God to me, I have the spirit of the Son of God. Hey, so a God kind of life. I have a God life. Let it let the man take a palat, who shall the man take a palat? I cannot be depressed. I cannot be depressed. I cannot be oppressed. I cannot be suppressed. Let it up. My God, in the name of Jesus. Are you sure you have time for this? My God. Let's go to number what? Number four. I say I have nine. Are we going to finish this today? I don't know what to do. Thank you, Jesus. Prayer and fasting power. <laughs> Prayer and fasting, fasting advantage, brother. Prayer and fasting advantage. This kind. We live in a world of kinds. Going on to say by prayer by fasting. And I, Daniel, now listen now. One of the ways to know what is very, what is so important in your life is what the devil fights. What the devil fights. Because if prayer is not important, why do they have to fight Daniel? In Daniel chapter 6, 1 to 23. Why do they have to conspire against his prayer life? My God, why do they have to conspire against his prayer life? They say, go oh, king, anyone that bows to any other god except you, let the person be cast in the, the den of lion. And Daniel say, I know the strategy. If you, if you get my prayer life, you get my life. So he went home and he, 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 because I rose to this realm by prayer and you cannot, they, you know, so they, you know, they, ah, any dimension of prayer takes you to is prayer that can keep you. You were praying, you were praying, and then you had a breakthrough. Then suddenly, because of breakthrough, you no longer pray. Daniel said, You can't deceive me. He went on his knees and began to pray. And he opened the window to the east one. To the east. I, I wish I had time to talk about the east. I wish I had time. Because the, there was a time Solomon said, Anywhere they are, Lord, anywhere they are, if they can turn to this temple. To this to the east, answer them. I know my spiritual strategies. He went on his knees. I began to pray, and they carried him into the den of lion. No problem. Prayer continues. Whatever prayer helps, give prayer will keep it. He went there, and the king said, that, "Oh, Daniel, I'm going to follow you in fasting." And he began to fast. As soon as he came, 
the law was broken. For the first time, the lion could not open their mouth. The lion fasted. <laughs> lion could not. Right? Because, because how can you carry the lion, the trap of Judah, and the lion of this earth? Is here? <laughs> lion could not eat him. Why? By prayer. Prayer gives you the privilege of speaking into the realm of the spirit. If, 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 if your words are only here, head, here on earth, oh, you are, you are of, of all men most miserable. If they don't hear your voice, one day one of our brothers was sharing with me. He said, he said, he said, sir, I don't know whether I should stop or this. I started praying because I was still in the mouth, but taking, com taking command into the territory. When you get to a place, decree, decree. Tell husband when he comes to a land, he say, Oh, the witches are wizards in this place. They say, Tan, No two kings can be in a land. And you know the kings that should live. I say, Learn to decree in an environment. And my brother, do you one of our lovely brothers? I say, Sir, sister, I like decreeing. I said, I receive an attack. Should I receive an attack? Should I stop? <laughs> it's too late to stop. You have declared yourself. Now, you know, you know, because all this, why they didn't, why they didn't, <laughs> why nobody came for you that they didn't hear your voice. He said, he said, he said, ah, ah, Paul, I know, because we'll be hearing his voice. Jesus, I know, be hearing his voice. You, it is not the time of manifestation that you want to talk. It's the time of manifestation. I decree. It's, this is not time to decree. Before you decree, you would have stepped a thousand cubits more. Let them measure. There's a measuring tape in the spirit that measures. That measures. After the measurement has been taken, they say, okay, you can decree on this note. Say, so, okay, but if you want more, move deeper. They, at such point, because the sons of skivers, they don't have a voice in the spirit, but they want to decree. They, it is called spiritual raping system. You want to benefit from the spirit, but you are not so into the spirit. So, so you, there is no relationship with the realm of the spirit, but you want to benefit from It's called rape. It is a spiritual rapist. You, it, it's a criminal offense. So you are, you are trying to decree. I decree. I declare. I declare. When Wahala comes, it's when you want to decree. But, but before that day, you're, you have registered your name in the realm of the spirit. You, you would have, you, do you have an account in the realm of the spirit? So here you are. You now run, grab, 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 because trouble has come now. You carry ATM. You carry to the, you carry ATM card. You carry to the ATM machine of the spirit. And you begin to the ATM tell that your account is insufficient. Because you have not filled it in. You speak. That's why you begin to speak in tongues. You speak in tongues. Don't now listen now because you don't know tomorrow. Don't speak about tomorrow. Speak in tongues. Ah, you understand what I'm saying? Because since you don't know tomorrow, how can you intercede for tomorrow? That's why I stay. He who speaks in tongues speaks for all. Then, then one day, that's, I decree. I decree. Then I say, ah, yeah, I decree. <laughs> decree. There are plenty of things in the account. You guys are bankers, you know what I'm saying? So somebody come with ATM, he say, hey, hey I, I know who I am. I know who I am. Now, oh God, who are you? <laughs> who are you? So between your room to the bedroom, cover grounds in the spirit. Because when the time comes to decree, you may not have time to pray. <laughs> pray and fasting. Everything I'm saying like this will not make sense to you until you are a prayer person. Because you can only receive it. You can't learn it. You can't learn what I'm saying. A carnal man cannot. Forget it. You cannot receive the things of the spirit. The natural man. He cannot receive the things of the spirit. Because these things are discerned. He doesn't have a decoder for it. He doesn't have a decoder for it. See what is Pastor Steve saying now? I don't understand what they are saying. Relax. It's a decoder problem. It's a decoder problem. You don't have decoder. So you don't you don't have it. <laughs> Are you following what I'm saying now? So as you begin to pray, I, I've been reading Bible now. I did not see this thing. I did not see this thing. I did not see this thing until I was fasting. I was praying. I was fasting. My power is not actually, it's not actually in the prayer and fasting. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something that I will shock you. My power is the power is not in the prayer and fasting. I was I was praying and fasting before, but ah, I don't explain to you. Prayer, 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 prayer is like gone. The word is bullet. But without without gun, the bullet is useless. So the guys have the word, he doesn't pray. He has the word, doesn't pray. So he's showing, he's showing the bullet. You see, you see, you see. I have his Bible recitation. In the Bible recitation. But the thing cannot, there is no force before God whom I stand. I have stood before God before I'm going to say this. 
So he spent, he spent time with, before the Lord. Then the day was going to say, at my word now. Not God, at my word. So, so you, you, now see, you now see men like, you know, Bishop Bessie, that was a, he said, the man said, even if God comes down, the, the conference of witches must hold him beneath. He said, God doesn't need to come down. He said, I am here. Because when I've done my job before God, God said, my son, go and speak. This is my beloved son, in whom I'm well pleased. I've done the whole job with him. Now, listen to him. Whenever he says anything, I'm the one speaking. So now you have overcome the world. God, he did not hear God. But I, and I'm not going to say, I decree in the name of Jesus that this thing will happen. And you now say, oh, but I did not hear God. I don't need to hear God. I have settled the job with God. Before God, whom I stand, I stood. So fasting is to bring you to that place of authority when you receive faith. Because as I'm talking like this, pray, fasting, fasting, fasting. Oh, are you with me? Pray and fast. Let me tell you, pray and fast. You may have oil, but oil, the oil cannot boil anything. It cannot fry anything. But the oil is not bad, though, but it cannot fry anything. Why? There's no fire. So, the guys are now fasting and prayer keeps your oil boiling. When you speak, it's sharp. It's sharp. You see what I'm saying? You can't forget what I'm saying now. You know why? I, I sharpen these words. It's not just because I read Bible. I sharpened it. When I release it, when, 10 years from now, you still remember what I'm telling you today. Why? It was sharpened. When, when you have oil and you don't pray, do you know what oil does? Oil begins to clot. Oil begins to clot. Not that it doesn't have oil, though, it begins to clot. So he tell the person, he say, I am the righteous of God Christ. I am the but nothing is happening. Why? The oil is not melted. As you put it on fire, tatakata, shatapakata, like heat is generated. Heat is generated until it boils. See, you see, so that, that's why, that's why, that's why. You see, I am going to pray for the sick for five minutes. I am going to see testimonies that will come out of it. Five minutes. You know, I don't pray long for five for sick. Layers on them, those who I need to lay all decree. This will happen even as I'm speaking like this. Just that I'm speaking, people will have jobs. People will have jobs. No, 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 it will look like ah, uh, sir. Did you mention? I don't need to mention your name. You will have job. Okay. Okay. I am decreeing that places you don't expect, money will come from there into your life. You know, you know, it's still miracle money. If an uncle who will never think of you sends him money, is that not a miracle money? Miracle money is not just that money from the way appeared. It happens like that. But there is another way that somebody you've never thought, and I'm decreeing, you will experience a miracle money. <laughs> you will see it. You will see it. You will see it. I decree unprecedented favor upon your life. Okay. I decree. Every form of growth in anybody's life, growth, growth, pain, that I decree. After the count of three is disappearing. One, two, three, in the name of Jesus. Whosoever is, uh, is suffering from oppression, you can't sleep at night. And that in the name of Jesus, I decree that the end has come. The end has come. Thank you, Father. Sit down. That is how it works. As short as it is, Daniel, testimonies will come out of it. Why? The words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. They are not just communication. I'm not giving public speech. <laughs> It's not public speech. When you pray and you fast, now, every tongue that speaks in tongues is not an ordinary tongue. So somebody carry a, a, a cloth and spoke into the cloth and he wrapped it around the tree. Say, if you touch this cashew, <laughs> if you touch this cashew, <laughs> you know why? The person is not an ordinary tongue. It's, there is an incantation that cooked the tongue. So since you don't say incantation, you speak mysteries. Mysteries is the way to deal with miseries. So you speak mysteries 
until your tongue is empowered. And it's a dangerous thing because you must also watch what you say to yourself. Because your tongues. So God intentionally made the tongues red like fire. As you are speaking in tongues, the thing is cooking. And you are fasting. The job of fasting that it kills the flesh. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Maybe I'll end on number five. The meditation advantage. Mm. The meditation advantage. Something in me is telling me to shift this into next. No. I may even finish it next, next worship and watch this, but let's see how it goes. <laughs> so, now, number five. Josh, Josh, let me show you something powerful. Joshua 1 8. You have seen it before. Let's see it again. And 2 Corinthians 10, verse 5. The book of the law shall not. Oh my God, this thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me see. Let me see. The book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate, right? Thou shalt meditate therein, day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then shall have good success. That means you shall make your way prosperous. You are the one to make your way prosperous. Listen to a principle I want to share with you now. It's an advantage. The who heard as the law given to the sons of men. Now, because the Lord has given this who earth or this word to the children of men, we have power to determine what's happened to this earth. And our now, both the both the poor and the rich, God created them all. The day I discovered that Lazarus went to heaven, and Abraham also went to heaven, I discovered that everybody can decide how they go. Whether as an Abraham or as Lazarus. So if you believe, if you believe that poverty is the easiest way to, for you to go to heaven, God bless you. God, God looks at you and say, Amen. Because as you say in my ear, so will I do. You shall meditate. What is meditation? Like I said, the Christ, Christians, they have issue of low self-esteem. Either it's low self-esteem or low revelation esteem, whatever esteem it is, but it's low. That because the world is beginning to use the original, they now begin to doubt the original. For instance, people have taught themselves into a realm. That's what we call the sixth sense. Okay, are you this point now? He says, you shall meditate, meditate. Meditation is that is a power of is called imagination power to begin to imagine so now listen now and ah is, is dream oh too many things here now listen dream is not what you see when you sleep it's when you see when what is what you see even when your eyes are opened what is your dream i have a dream that one day my children will live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character that was the dream of martin luther king jr 1963 he had that dream and that dream came to pass but the day he was giving that i have a dream speech he was not sleeping he said, I have seen the mountains. I may not get there with you, but I know you shall get there. That was a dream. And people say that he's a prophet. Follow me carefully. I want to explain something powerful. Powerful. Because I'm going to... We are go, uh, what I want to do this season now, this, this few minutes, is to restore your power to dream. Because if you can't dream, you, cannot man, you can't move into meditation. I've come. Meditation and dream, they are combined. And if you cannot do it, your life has gone down. Let me tell you something. So God said, now listen, if you now, I'm going to do something, but I, I want to say something, because my guys, now they want to laugh, but I need to say it, so that the only thing that is, I'm trying to give quotes, it's not an acquire to require kind of a thing, but I know what I'm saying. But I, I, I'm saying that until you have a picture based on scripture, you cannot see your future. Mm. I get what I'm saying now. That's what I'm saying now. That you must first of all have the picture of your future based on scriptures. Now, this is it. 
as I am, that is what I see. I have a dream. This is a dream. The dream is that I saw a picture of the mountains of the Lord's house exalted above other mountains. And I saw a crowd coming into it. As I am like this, I don't believe I can have ministry without crowd. I don't believe it. Why? That is my dream. Now, this dream, there is another fake part of it that the world uses. The world calls it daydreaming. But what I'm saying is not far from daydreaming. <laughs> but it's not daydreaming. Because daydreaming is a psychological way of explaining it. Follow me. So now this is it. The day you lose, you lose the ability to dream. You lose the ability to see fulfillment. This is it. Therefore, I built a dream based on scriptures. And I saw the mountains of Sophia Foundation lifted above, exalted above other mountains. So when I close my eyes, I see Sophia Foundation lifted above other mountains and crowd coming from parts of the world. And I see the Indians, I see Chinese, I see white people. I see from different parts of the world and I see them coming to Sophia Foundation and as I sit down for hours you, I sit down, mm, I'm smiling, I'm smiling you see what I'm seeing? As I'm seeing different people from different parts of the world coming to Sophia Foundation, they come to encounter and I see, I see people parking their private jets and they are coming rushing to the encounter and I say, well, what am I missing? I see, I see the protocols coming with their jets parking just to help the new members go to where they are going. I see these things. You know, some years ago, I told a friend, when I saw some people criticizing men of God that have private jets, I said they should wait till when Sophia Foundation, I was saying this thing when I was in school. It's when I was in school. I said they should wait till when Sophia Foundation will start giving private jets to motherless babies home. Because that is what I see. You can't take, if you want to kill me, kill that dream. Because when you kill that dream, I lose the ability to drive. I can't say now. So the dream of Abraham was going down. And God said, what I need to do? I have to give him the picture of a future. So he said, come and look at the stars. Can you see the stars? If you can see the stars, this is the picture of the future. If you can see the stars, then you can see your children. He now said, come, come to the seashore. If you can see the sounds of the seashores, if you can number them, then you can number your children. If you cannot number them, then you can number your children. So I cannot see my children, but I can see the picture. So therefore, I have, never, I have not seen the crowd in Sophia Foundation, but I can look for a picture of a crowd. If I can look at it, then the same way the serpent is lifted up, if I can see the serpent, then I can see the one I can see. What is that I'm saying now? So I, I have been given a picture of a full show based on the scripture. As I begin to meditate on it, I receive power to make my way prosperous. So therefore, I am going, no, I'm not going to live my life from process to perfection, but from perfection to process. Give English, right? Now, mm, you now say that. He said, now, perfection is that you are a father of many nations. The process is that you are barren. Now, but this is it. You are not going to be a father of many nations because you are barren. You are barren because you are father of many nations. Uh -huh. So now I, I am full of the visions of the future. So the situation of today does not deter me. It doesn't make me feel bad because I know what I have seen. For me, I have seen that this ministry cannot be small. No matter what you do, let the dev all the devils come together. It cannot work because they may have power over their kingdom, but they don't have power over my mind. As he thinks, so is he. So by, there is a picture. He said, casting down, if you want to fight, casting down all of those imaginations, those arguments, those strongholds that try to rise against the knowledge of God. So this book of the Lord, the knowledge of God, what has the Lord said? So therefore, the Lord gives you a picture. The picture is this. You see a stones by the brooks. And say, I shall lay up goals like the stones of the brook. So the physical becomes the picture of the spiritual that you cannot see. So somehow you surround yourself. So Pastor Paul Energy was saying the other day, he said he has to write 20,000 members everywhere in his room. Everywhere in his room. So anywhere you look, you see 20,000 members. 20,000 members. As I realize, that's what I'm telling you best. I have it in my phone. How many members I want to see in Soviet Foundation? I have the uh, members I want to see weekly. Members I want to see, I have them in my phone. So he said he will be seen every time. One day he discovered that this thing is, is they counted their numbers of the people in the church. They are over 20,000. Ah! 
Ah, he said this thing they work. He increased it again. Now, Pastor, Pastor Sam Adiyami said he has to get a car, a picture of a car. He puts on his wall the same color. One day somebody told him, say, Pastor, I want to get you a car. But the car I want to get you, I don't know if you like the color because the color, you look at this, you know, this is the color. But somebody saw, who belongs to the car short. Somebody said, okay, I have the color, um, the same car. Now when they brought the color of the car, the same, the car they brought for him, that same car, That same color. Back then, when I was on campus, I sleep with that Those same men. color. My back then, when I was on campus, I sleep with that same color. My first book, back, 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 some years ago. I still see of a crowd. Some of you that still stress me. Well, I said this is my kind of crowd. Some years ago, I started doing as I am like this. The people I have preached to, I have not yet preached to them yet. Kill it if you get your what then what is called shattered dream? Shattered dream is that your dream is shattered. So when somebody looks at you and begin to talk down on you, you will not succeed, you will not go anywhere, you can't be anywhere. What the person is doing that is killing your ability to dream. And when he kills your ability to dream, you wake up every day. Like I don't even have the English word for it. You wake up every day, bang. you are deflated, you don't have ability to decree. So but when you have you are walking about calling the things that be not as though they were. You are working about what you see is not what others are looking. The more you look, the more you are seeing, and you see more than you look. You are looking will catch up with what you see. And can't be small. If it is pride, there's one cup of tea. Because no matter the economy of jungle, the lion can never eat grass. It is not pride, it is it's nature. So you come to a point in your life where you say that I either succeed or I succeed. Because I, fail, I am allergic to failure. Wherever failure is mentioned, my name will not be mentioned there. So by that, you begin anywhere you see anything that looks like failure. So you stay in an environment and now say that uh, people like us that are poor, we are poor people, we don't mind rich people. You, your body begins to develop rashes just for wearing that. that. Those kind of statements are in, 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 yama, in yama, they call it. It's, it's, you can't hear it. You can't hear it because I cast. I, there is nothing about my life that is co- that is that is compatible with poverty. Is it ministry that permits poverty? Is it helping the poor that permits poverty? Nothing in life in my life is compatible with poverty. So I stay in a place that begin to say that in this church, oh, in this church, we are not big men churches. Oh, in church of poor people, I leave that church for you. I can't stay there. It, it, I am allergic to st- such statements, casting down those arguments and imaginations until I bring every thought to the obedience of Christ. I'm blessed. So I, I, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys that we are stepping to a realm. Now, when you sit down, you are lying down, you are, you are seeing far, you are seeing far. And what this thing does is that it creates a configuration in your spirit that by default, mistakenly is begin to succeed hmm. because because it's from the abundance of the heart the mouth makes mistake to say it so because your heart has been full of the abundance of greatness of god your heart is full of the wisdom of god so even your mistake is talking big big things <laughs> they say this guy self this guy self you own too much you are the one saying my own too much too much is the word too much is human human creation because from the realm of God, there's not too much. On the exceedingly abundant above all, even you, beyond your thinking big. Oh, end it here. I'm sorry, how to end it here? How to end it here? Time. Oh my God. Is that one? I'm seeing something on this number five. I need to share with you. Should I share it? <laughs> now, 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 now. My God, are you with me now? You know, see, in, in our leadership academy, Pastor, so he can say something. That doesn't have a in my spirit. It corresponds with something I've been meditating on. He said, he said, the, the, the last of Nicodemus saw Jesus and said, ah, he said, he said, no man can do this thing. Do this thing except this is sent by God. No man can do. He said, no, you are missing it. Doing does not come before being. Say, except a man be born again. And my dad told me a story I can never forget. A, a, a man told his, his boy, his, 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 or, or God, a king and the servant were going to, a, on a slave, were going for occasion. And the servant said, Master, 
master, please, on oh, this occasion that I'm going, let it, don't make them know that I'm a slave. Oh. He said, you be the one to fail your hand, for your hand. You, okay, I'm not saying you are going to be a slave. Let's just go. Go. I'm going to give you Agbada. The guy will Agbada. Agbada. I'm going to act like I'm not a slave. Then when they got there, when they got there, when it's time for everybody to sit down, the slave sat on the ground. No, and the king looked at him and said, ah, I told you. You know, he said, you be the one to fold your own hand. Because the abundance of the heart, he has not become a great man. He wants to be great. Now, and he said, he said something that's striking. He said that, he said, he said, the rich will always become richer and the poor will become poorer. Now, not that the rich will have more, not that riches will make people rich. Ah, it's the rich that will be richer. It is who has become rich that will attract the cash. And the poor will become poorer. Except a man be, he cannot see. You want to see what you have not become. So before, you no, know, I remember some years ago, best, you know, some of my friends were telling me back then, he said, you st- back then as a student, they say you don't preach like a student. I said, I left student level a long time ago. I, you see, they were telling me, you speak with, you are preaching with authority. I, you know, as a student, you are supposed to be careful, brethren, brethren. Brethren what? I am telling you, I am not seeing brethren. I, 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 I have left this student level. I have become, I have become until you have become a pastor of mega ministry you cannot build a mega ministry you, you become you become rich cash will cash up with who you become until a man be you be is the law of attraction you attract who you are you attract who you are it's an advantage it's a spiritual advantage that you can create an energy upon your life I preached a message some time ago. Energy people generate. You create an energy around your life. Somehow people meet you and say, "Ah, uh-uh, I don't know. There's something about you. It's not something about me. It's energy that I carry. I have become. The realities of life will catch up with who I have become. So, so you spend your time in meditation. You are dreaming. You are reading books that does not concern you because it concerns you. So you are reading materials. You are reading you say you are reading books about billionaires you are not a billionaire but you are reading billionaires books anything that has to do with billionaires you are listening you are listening to their interviews are you a billionaire why are you listening to a baby? no and you have until a man be you cannot see so you are listening so so that's why as i am like this for instance listen to me carefully you must believe you are anointed before you walk in the anointing because so you, you are listening to a man of God. The man of God is telling you, don't mind all of those men of God are talking prosperity. He, he, you, you don't know what they are doing. They are shattering your dream. Until you come to a point, and every man of God that is prosperous, everybody that is prosperous, not just men of God, people, people. For instance, you live with a family. And that family, everybody is broke. And anybody that is successful, they criticize them. What they have done is this. They have altered the image of the ideal. Who understand the English I am speaking now? So anybody that is successful, they use their mouth to talk down on the person. So whenever you begin to see, I wish I had time. I would have to talk to you about, about Jacob's secret. Jacob set a pole as they behold. They begin to give birth to the animals that carries the color. So somebody look every great man. They talk down against them. They dysfunction. They dis- they, they, they dilute their image in your mind. So because of that, you, you, no, you no longer see the ideal to behold. He said, as we begin beholding, we become. So you don't have anyone to behold. Eventually, everybody in the family is going down because they don't see. Or for instance, you stay in a church where they, they, talk against, they talk against power. They take to the supernatural. Don't mind all of those men of God that are doing miracles. They are not genuine. They are not genuine. And the person that is talking to you does not perform miracles. That means you don't have an ideal image of miracle working. So you spend your life, you don't even know what it means to work in miracles. Because you don't have an image to behold. And the image that you would have been able to behold, they have altered those images in your eyes. What does I'm saying now? So you may not know so that the weapon that has been fashioned against you could even be your pastor fashioning it to make sure that he talks down against anything that is ideal so therefore any marriage that is succeeding they have talked down against it any man that is prosperous they have talked down against it anybody that is performing miracles they have talked down against it so you live your life in the middle of mediocrity there is no picture of the ideal to behold. There is no picture of the full shot to behold. Therefore, you cannot become better because there is no beholding. Ah! So, because until you behold, you cannot become. Oh, any day. God of space, I cast my crown. Pray the Holy Ghost. 
In the morning, no time, I worship to the Holy God. And I will bow, ancient one. I feel your voice all along. I, I, God of space. I cast my crown. In the morning, noon time, I worship to the Holy God, who reigns and rules forever. And I will bow, lift my hands, and I'll praise the ancient one. I feel a fool, shallow love, I am a God of space. I cast my crown. Can you see? Begin to call them forth. What can you see? Call them forth. Call the things that be not as though they were. Until they be. I am the Call the things that be not. God and forth, God and forth. What do you want to see? I receive ability to dream, ability to dream, power to dream. Savala to Bahashka and the emblem Savanda Bahashka. In the name of Jesus. Now listen. I want you to dare. Dare to dream. What do you want to see? Now listen. 
those things you are afraid of saying. Each time you even try, sometimes you try to say it, some person in your family say, shut up. You are talking too much. You are dreaming too big. This is the atmosphere of possibility. Can you begin to release them now? Dare to say. Dare to decree. Dare to decree. Can you dare to decree? I cannot be small. I'm rising above limitations. I got by the way, only you alone. Put out the baby to smile. Put out the bear to fly. I got by the way, declare. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. Jesus, oh, bring joy. Oh, bring joy. Jesus, oh, bring joy. I shall do the bow and go. Jesus, oh, bring joy. Oh, bring joy. Jesus, oh, bring joy. I shall do the bow and go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Lift up your hands and be silent. Silent. Just the keyboards. And a little of business. No noise. Just a little. Ta -da 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 -da. Angels are angels are invading this space now. Angels are invading this place. With little Batashka. Angels are... Now close your eyes. I did not have time to reach the other part. The last one I was supposed to share is the Zion City Advantage. Innumerable company of angels. The spirit of just men made perfect. Now, you are, beginning to, you are going to have angelic encounters right now. They'll begin to do their job in this congregation right now. Da, 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 da. The sick will start getting healed. Sicknesses will be getting healed right now. Oil of favor will start pouring on lives right now. Limitations are breaking out right now. Da, 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 da. In the morning time I worship to the Holy God who reigns the rose forever. And I will bow, lift my hands and I praise the ancient one. A feel of all shadow of I love God of space. I cast my crown. I want you to have a picture of what you want. Picture it. Picture it. What do you want to see in your life? Now, see it. What if there is no impossibility in life? Where, we, where would you have been? If there was no word called impossibility, what would you have dreamt of? Begin to dream it. Who told the baby to? Who told the birds to fly? I go by the way, oh, only you alone. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, oh, oh. I'm giving you 30 seconds before I decree. 
To the holy God who reigns and rules forever, and I will bow, lift my hands, and oppress the ancient one. A feel of full shallow love. I love God of space. I cast my crown. No one can do me like you do. I can never. No one can touch me like you do. I go by the way. Only you, only you. I give my praise. I will worship in the morning and the noon time. Yes, I will lift my hands and voice only to you. Only you, only you. I give my worship. Who told your baby to smile? Who told the bear to fly? I can't buy the road. Only you alone. Who told the water to flow? Who told the fire to burn? I can't buy the road. Only you alone. I Don't stop three minutes. Don't stop seeing it. It's a moment of encounters. Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh, Oh, Jesus, there are angelic activities here. Oh, Benjua. Deaf ears are opening. Deaf ears are opening. What you want to see now and pray the Holy Ghost softly, softly, no noise. Da, 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 da. Ah, yeah. oh, oh. Ah. In the name of Jesus, I decree right now supernatural shifts. Supernatural shifts. From today henceforth, I decree that you move into a realm that nobody in your family has ever dreamt of. I decree that you experience a result that your effort cannot afford. Results that your efforts cannot afford. After the count of three, I am declaring fire over this atmosphere right now. And whatever is not of God will begin to burn. After the count of three, you will scream Holy Ghost fire. And fire will begin to erupt. One. One. Shatabahashka. Two. Three. Holy Ghost. Fire. Lakatoska. Fire. 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 Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. I will show you the one. Holy Ghost, fire on in my bones. Oh, fire, 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 Holy Ghost, fire in my bones. Holy 
baptism of the Holy Ghost. You want to get baptized in the Holy Ghost? Come forward fast, fast. Baptism of the Holy Ghost, fast. You want to? Holy Ghost. Those of you in front. Holy Ghost, you and I will change the world. Holy Ghost, you and I will change the world. Holy Ghost, you and I will change the world. Everyone begins to pray the Holy Ghost right now. Those of you, la copetasca. Fire! Fire! We see, we see fire on the Holy Ghost. Fire on the Holy Ghost. Fire! 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 Fire!
Encounters you were prayed for and you were healed. You went to hospital for checkup and you discovered you are, the healing was perfected. Come fast. Why you have to do that is is a law in the spirit to make what God has done for you permanent. Don't hide it. It's a warning. Don't hide it. If you have gone to the hospital for checkup, you were prayed for in the encounters before before now, and you were healed. Come forward, or there was a something that happened, you trust. You ask God for something at the encounter and the Lord did it. Come forward fast. We have a few minutes. Change the world. That's my response. Yes, sir. Praise God. Yes, sir. Our sister here said that before the um, prayer session, yeah. that while you made declarations during the word session, that she believed that the truth pain she's feeling, she's healed. And currently now, she's no longer feeling. Oh, celebrate Jesus. It's gone. Celebrate Jesus. Our brother here, sir, said he used to have a headache. And in the course of the prayers, after he prayed for him, he's no longer feeling the symptoms. He's again. gone forever. He's gone forever. Celebrate Jesus. Is the only one person that's attending? Okay, sir. Our brother here said he had been having rashes all over his body. Yeah. That after, but it brings out pause. Okay. And he spreads. Yeah. Now, after you prayed just now, he ran out of this place to check himself, and the thing is dried up. Oh, he's dried up. Celebrate Jesus. That is instant. 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 Please, this is an opportunity for someone that said, uh, some persons have been reaching us online with testimonies. We start to come to the encounter and share it before the children of God. Come and do that just five minutes. Yep. It's a weapon. It's a weapon. Don't come and meet us later and say, sir, we don't know, sorry, we did not share it. And something happened. That's what we are telling you now. It's a law in the spirit. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Our brother here, God is really healing people, sir. Yeah. He said he had been feeling this load on his chest in the sternum area, the middle here, as a result of asthma. But after the declaration, Asha. all the symptoms, all the pain, Asha. gone it's to gone, the glory of the Lord. It's gone forever. It's gone forever. Yes. Yes. Change the world. So our brother here said he had been having peptic ulcer yeah. for long, how long now? For over a year. That, but during the word, it was not even the prayer session. Why the word went for? He got hit. Hallelujah! Celebrate Hallelujah. Jesus. Ooh. Go and test and come back. Yes. Ooh, okay. We'll now other ones. Okay, share the one. Just one or two, then we we close. We'll change the world. We'll change the world. We'll change the world. You will not change the world. Yes, our, our brother has said before uh, when he came back from school, he met his dad not in a good condition health wise. Yeah. Yeah. Then he believed God for his healing and he believed. It's he gone. Lived. It's gone now. If you have ever received any miracle at the encounter, it must not be it, it may not be bodily healing. But you experience a change in any area of your life. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. A turn out a change in your life. Maybe a miracle, a favor or something that was the okay if you have asked god for something at the encounter and you see you, you saw the, the the testimony in your life maybe you just asked god you prayed for it or you wrote it down and after the encounter you saw the manifestation of that in your life let me see your hands let me see your hands okay if you have never shared any testimony you you saw those miracles but you have never shared it let me see let me see your hands up again okay now this is what we are going to do um please when we have closed uh, um, I testify so that we will not, we will not take too much time right can you get like 10 to 20 people to get their testimonies at the back when we are done fast fast so please do that the reason we are doing this that we are helping you is a, he said they overcame by the blood of the lamb and by the words of their testimonies is a law make sure you document it 
before you go. Lift up your hands and bless the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you. Thank you for the things you have done at the encounter. Oh, what a mighty God. What a mighty God. You are mighty. You are mighty. You are mighty. Bless be your name, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Father, we love you. Bless be your name, Lord. Celebrate Jesus for the name. Thank you, Lord. We bless you for what you have done. For in Jesus' name. Uh, and listen, on Sunday, of, I can't tell, right? Because I'm planning to have a faith retreat. School of faith retreat. Like a seminar. I don't want to call it seminar so that it won't look like a seminar. But it's going to be a school of faith. I want to have it Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But we don't even know how the next weekend is going to be because of this election. But whatever happens, we are going to let you know. Is that okay? But if you are not able to hold it Sunday, I mean Friday or Saturday, then next Sunday, if you'll be in Kaba here on Sunday, let me see, if you'll be in Kaba here next Sunday, tell your neighbor, don't miss worship and what feast next Sunday. Now, listen, I want you to, listen, it's an assignment I want to give you. Make sure you meet three people and say, I'm going to remind you next Sunday. So you get the person's number and say, I'll remind you to, if it is, now listen, this is it. You are going to get the information on, on our page. If you, are, if you know where our page is, let me see if you have our page. If it's going to happen on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the information will be passed on our page. Don't, tell your neighbor, don't miss it. You notice that Pastor Steve did not finish the message. Say, don't miss it. I'm going to remind you. So, what you are going to do is this. Before you leave here, I want you to get three partners that you will remind them of next weekend. You will call them and you call yourself and make sure you bring yourself. Do that now. Get your phone numbers fast. Okay. Okay, praise God. But that's good news. I, I guess we cannot be excited. Brothers conference is coming up. I don't know why I'm the one making the announcement. <laughs> Well, it's coming up on the 18th of March, 2023, on Saturday, 18th of March, by 10 a.m. at our venue, at our venue, at our worship and worship, um, um, worship and worship and what feast venue. Please tell a brother to tell a brother to tell a brother. Invite as many brothers. Of course, you know who will be teaching. Of course, you know who would be teaching. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> and this is a special announcement for all our mothers who came here with their children. We celebrate you so much. We love you. And you are welcome. We want to take our time to tell all of you that you are welcome to come with your children. You are welcome to invite people with your children. We are sorry we haven't had this, these things put in place before now. But by next encounter and from next worship and word feast, we're going to be having provisions for your children, to taking your children from you, taking care of them so that you will be able to concentrate on the word. I thought that's a good news. <laughs> so please invite. What that means is this. If you know any, any woman, young woman or any woman that, you know, some of them, one of the reasons they have not been coming is that because of their children. They don't know who will take care of them. So let them know that we already have provisions for that. Children department to, to take care of them. So uh, let them tell them that they can be coming for worship and word feast now, right? I yes, just wanted to add a voice to that. Yes, sir. And then if you are here and you are in Lokoja, you stay anywhere around Lokoja, please, before you leave, do well to put down. You, you don't have to go um, um, line up. Just write your name. And your location, your phone number in a piece of paper and okay. drop it in the basket. 
Okay, just give it to this brother standing here. Come here, there will be a basket.